All right, microphone check. Uh, man, you already know the Gemini Scope of your podcast, episode 53. Yes. Uh, we're moving on yeah. up. You already know. Uh, Mr. J Hill, I'm in the building. Healer Bay is here. Sorry, guys, the hookah's amazing. <laughs> Miss Grinaway's in the building. Alexander the Blanc is here. Alex. The Blanc. What I do? Pull your microphone closer to you. Because why do you think you're going to lean that way? Because why do you think you're going to lean that way the whole time? The whole, the whole, whole time. show. Like, come on, bro. Come, like come on. What did somebody say before the show started? What did they say? Hey Lex, uh, shout out to uh, Lex. We won't get do the drops now, but um, hey, don't be giving our uh, crew too much liquor, all right? Because yeah. I seen a pass a drink to uh, Gio, and I'm like, wait, wait, wait. Julia, not even a lot of drinks. Nah, yeah, Julia, like, yeah, Julia, Julia, <laughs> Julia, 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 Julia can't be drinking. After. I, I seen a pass. I seen a pass. Uh, Monica a drink, and I'm like, all right, you know her birthday is in like two days. So I'm yeah. like, she get a, she get a pass, but then she passed Julia, and I'm like, whoa. <laughs> Yeah, all right, but like Lex, <laughs> what is you count his drinks because what's going on? Like, but what's here, in the drink? Hear a scratch in the middle yeah, of the like, audio. Like, like, she like, put a little extra drizzle. I'm like, I'm like, she about to start yeah. passing them cameraman. Like, whoa, whoa. <laughs> you know I'm saying Joe it's just thought party. he was next. Joe yeah, like, like, like my, I, he was waiting for his. He's Joe like, got his while he wasn't looking. Right. That's before, what it was. Before I could get my Lex, you better start trademark. You better trademark these drinks because I mean, a lot of people is, are asking I mean, and nobody knows what's in it. Look right. at this beautiful drink. We are gonna keep it that way. You gotta have uh, what's your Instagram, Lex? Lex in, Lex in the city is how many X's? Two X's, three X's. Uh oh, three X's. Oh, it's giving sex. Lex Sexy in the, Lexi. Lex in the city. Make sure well, y'all should have. Make sure y'all hit her up for the, uh, <laughs> the recipe drink. for the drink. You might gotta pay something. Can't get it for free, but uh, not this Lex yeah. juice. Let's yeah, let's mm -hmm. get the let's get the show popping. Uh, the whole gang is in the building. Um, shout out to everybody that's uh, mm -hmm. your first time mm -hmm. listening, your first time watching. We thank y'all. We appreciate y'all. Shout out to all our other supporters that been supporting since day one. Shout out to the ones that started supporting a few shows ago. Shout out to all of y'all. Uh, for y'all that don't know, again, we're gonna do this. You know, uh, I am the Gemini. Scorpio, you and then know. the gang. You big, already know. Uh, uh, big Scorpion. You, uh -huh. you play me every time. No, <laughs> no, 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 stop <laughs> calling me the gang. I'm like, I'm I am a, a Scorpio. I'm a Cancer. Right, 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 right. <laughs> I just want to know. Fucking lemon fell out my drink. Fucking right, around with y'all. I'm like a, a uncle in the Crips. I'm a big Scorpio. <laughs> big what the fuck are you talking I'm about? Scorp. <laughs> auntie Scorpio. I'm an Auntie Scorpio. The whole gang is in the building. Shout out to the team. Um, we got Sherm in the building on camera one. We got uh. Joseph D. Friend on two cameras. Delonte Bass God on the camera. I cannot uh, with Gio with his drink. Gio the Leo. Um, God damn, we always got new people in the fucking room now. I look bad. <laughs> Shit. Uh, Lex, Lex, what's 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 for her name again? We got Nick in the building. Uh, Catch Twenty Two is here. Half of Catch Twenty Two. Uh, Shit. Um, what the fuck? The, the list is just growing. Lante uh, base guy. Rocky is in the building. Yeah. And I saved it for last because we celebrating our birthday. Yes. yes sir. Sir. Oh, I thought it was her birthday. Yes. Yes. Oh, his birthday ain't till next week. It's on Tuesday. It's yeah, but the party is the next week. Fat, fat. Oh, and the party. We party on. The party's, the party's on. Lit, for real. I can't wait. I'm taking pole dancing classes yes. for the first time. It's Shout out to my first Mo. time too. So I'm excited. She we over there like mm -mm -mm. put my heels on. Cut up. I'm about to cut up. I might come. Oh, are we gonna wear stripper heels? We gotta wear lingerie. Oh, I'm definitely coming yeah. in lingerie. But I'm finna get a stripper pole for the living room once I get through this class. You feel what I'm saying? Since you have a kid, <laughs> is it gonna be a collapsible one? I just got a kid. I was gonna say the whole time y'all were talking, I was just looking at Jason. I was just. Watching, yeah. he just. No, she I mean, her kid could come out here and it's, it's what's just mommy? mommy. What are you gonna do with this? My bad. In the room. But nah, man. Uh, shout to the whole gang. Uh, it's here. We here, man. Um, so we was gonna talk about the New Year's. It's the first show of the year. First show of um, the year, twenty twenty one. How y'all feeling? How, how has it been since the New Year? Is it a myth or is it something really new? Like, do you feel like a new year? Like, what's going on? Um, I'm excited for the year. I think it feels like a fresh start, not necessarily a new me. It just feels like, you know, another lap. Like, it's like, all right, bet I got through that lap. Like, let's get to it, you know, to that marathon. So I'm very excited about this year, um, especially how we ended off the year. It gave me just like a lot of high hopes, a lot of faith going on. So I'm excited this year for 2021. Okay, yeah, yeah. I can't, I'm excited. I feel good about it. I definitely felt like, um, you know, going into it, I, I guess I, I, I figured I'd start this because I feel like me and Jazz was kind of feeling a, a similar way. Like, you know, the year came and like, you know, usually people have, well, I'm not, I've never really been a, a person that was big on like New Year's resolution and like vision mm -hmm. boards, but I definitely wanted to try that this year. Mm -hmm. The new year came and I was just like, man, you know, it's not that I have any goals, like, if that makes sense or any expectations, it's just I want to just keep 
doing what I'm doing and make that better, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And it's just like the year came and it was like, I don't want to say depression, but it was just like a feeling mm -hmm. like I was like, I don't know, right? And I feel like we were talking. Yeah, it's and, like, you know, because I'm moving so much, to be honest, like I really don't, like I know that time is of the essence, but I don't necessarily believe in time. Like I don't time anything. Yeah. I kind of just coast, which I wouldn't, you know, it suggest that to anybody, but it truly is one of those things where because I move so much, like I don't keep track of time. Yeah. So everyone is like, oh, it's a new year. Yeah. And I'm like, damn, it is. Like right, I right. move so much every day that right. I don't know what day it is. Yeah. It could be mm. Tuesday. I wouldn't yeah. know. I was, my bad, man. No, well, I was going to say, so I read something this week that I thought was profound. It just was about like, you know, it is okay to just rest and like get into your groove. You don't have to rush it because it's all coming and all good things is coming and you are allowed to just rest into that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Or glide into that. You don't mm -hmm. necessarily have to, oh, it's the first, okay, let me, you know what I'm saying? I got to get this, got to do this. Like you can coast into it because it's coming regardless. So Facts and it's crazy because like mm -hmm. I was at, I was working or whatever and I was just like, man, I was on, just thinking to myself like, damn, like. I, I think so much is like it'd be stressing yeah. my damn self. It's like mm -hmm. my mind is moving a million miles a yep. second. And I'm like, man, I don't even know when the last time me and my girl went on a date, even though like Sade loves to do things. She loves to splurge and spend money and shit. So like it probably was Well, you not... do have the excuse of COVID. Yeah, Everything's yeah, yeah. closed. Yeah. But not even that. It's just yeah. like we haven't really, it's like, I don't know when the last time we really just kicked it on some yeah. like girlfriend and boyfriend. Yeah. Like, but yeah. like we will watch, watch, sit down and watch a show. Yeah. But even that is like. It's kind of like rest because like yeah. I'll probably fall asleep, she'll yeah. fall asleep. It's mm -hmm. like in the house type. Yeah, yeah you know what I'm saying. And I was yeah. just, I was just, I felt bad. I was like, mm -hmm. damn, like. But I felt this way before. Yeah. I'm like, like, damn, like. I don't know when the last time I spent some time with my girlfriend because I yeah. know like everybody on the show they probably say it's like we we on the show, but it's like this but, is work. But right? like I think this group is a group that I can honestly say is forever working. It's always something mm -hmm. going on. Always, it's always something to do. We're always hosting, you know, something at the house. It's a ho the holidays just was so much. Like I even called myself. I said I needed like a social break from like everybody because like it was you know the holidays. People was here and then family and then friends I was like oh I just wanted to sit so like the week into New Year's I literally sat on the couch and I binge watched all my little shows all day like I wouldn't even leave like Jay was like you don't want to come with me to get something to eat I was like no can you go get it because I'm not that's, moving that's 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 <laughs> when you really need to reset yeah. and just yeah take a break because you don't want to and I was saying this to y'all yesterday mm -hmm. I almost took this week off from everything even the podcast mm -hmm. because I never want to burn out. So it's like in order to keep my yeah. energy and my personality, like I am a human. I do have to sometimes shut rest. down and yeah. rest. Mm -hmm. And it's crazy because like even, but I say my mind, it's like my mind don't let me even rest. When you mm -hmm. say, right. Because like, yeah. I remember Shadi was watching the, um, the, uh, the show. Right. Mm -hmm. And I was editing a podcast and I didn't have to work on Monday. So like I got through the podcast relatively fast. And when I was, when I was done, Shadi still was watching our show because she was like, you know, like that's her day or a couple days or whatever. And I'm I'm just like, wow. Look, like, let's I do was really right? adamant. My mom was calling me. People was I was like, I, I, not today. I'm not working for nobody. I ain't working <laughs> for me. I even Amaya, I was like, I, I go to your yeah. go to your people's house because I am shutting down. Don't ask me nothing. And it's just something like I, I think it's a practice too. It's just something that I feel like I have to do for myself sometimes because like we're just always moving. And sometimes if I don't say no, like I'm gonna end up doing something. Like yeah. my mom will call me like, can you come over here? I'm like, all right, ma, even though I just, I know I got 50,000 things to do, but I'm gonna just say, yeah, cause it's my, but I was yeah. in that week. I don't give a fuck. Unless somebody is dying, I'm not moving. And I feel like you and Alex have a great <laughs> yeah. way of like balancing and like, you know, just like when it comes to self care and like taking yeah. care of yourself. Yeah, I don't play by my self care now. How, 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 how have you been feeling since the new year, Alex? So, well, not more so the new year, but leading up to the new year, I feel like 2020 was heavy you know, right. for yeah. a lot of people, but it wasn't like, we had a lot of wins in 2020 yeah. as a team mm -hmm. and course. we've seen it. But I felt like because there was so much that was going on around us that we had to feel like you just yeah. felt it because the world no what. stopped. Mm -hmm. um, that this week in particular was like kind of taking it in and it's like gratitude going yeah. into 2021. Yeah. I saw like a picture of, of all of the like, you know, celebrities that passed yeah. away in 2020. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, damn, yeah. I didn't realize how many passed away right. at the last little bit of right. 2020. Like, it's it was a lot right. of people. So when you have all of that, I just took this week really to, it was just reflection, yeah. you know, really just reflection and just gratitude yeah. going into it. Because I made it, you know, I made yeah. it into the year. Uh, and then being there is just like, now that I'm here, like, how can I make this the best year ever? Right. And right. I was going to ask you that, right. like, for all the other creators and you too, right? Yeah. Like, for all the creatives that coming into New Year's. Yeah. And just 
any time that's feeling like they're rushed to do something mm -hmm. or they got to move so many times like how do you deal with that mm -hmm. right and from both of y'all like how do y'all cope with that and and be able to be able to block everything out mm -hmm. and give yourself you time you got to have that yeah. i mean it's just prioritizing it it's yeah. just like it's almost like a boundary for yeah. yourself like you know and you have to be big on the boundary because like i said like whether you're creating or you even like you know my biggest thing like this year i literally worked from home the whole year I never saw that coming. And it's crazy because before that, I was like, I wish I could work from home. I wish I could work from home. I got to work from home and I didn't realize how exhausting it was because I'm literally now I'm basically living at my work. Like, you know what I mean? So it was always something to do. My phone's always ringing. Then I got the kid here. Then, you know, my regular girlfriend duties and my own woman duties of my own. I got to take care of myself. Like, you know, it's hair, it's nail. It's just a lot going on. So like a boundary for myself is like when I want my time, I demand it. I don't, and I don't, like, I don't, if somebody's upset at that, I really don't care. Because if I don't take it from me, what y'all want me, like, y'all not going to see it You'll until burn out. I'll burn out and crash. And Bro. then it's like, she's sick. Oh my God. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's a lot how people get sick and end up in the hospital because they don't take time for themselves. And to add to that, I was going to say, <clears throat> you got to make it a priority. Like uh, a story that I once heard about self-care that is interesting is like, you got to look at self-care just similar, like how you look at a bill. You know what yeah. I mean? You don't like to miss bills. You don't like to, yeah. you got to look at it like you were time, like clocking into work. Right. The same things that you prioritize yeah. in other sides of your life, you got to prioritize that Which as well. Self. And a story that I once heard was like one of my family friends, his dad would be telling him to save all while he was living with him and he wasn't doing it. So one time his dad asked him for like a big lump sum of money. And then after like he realized he didn't have it, his dad started charging him rent, mm. you know, like, so he's charging him rent and every month he's putting, he's thinking he's paying rent. So he's about to move out. And when he's leaving, his dad gives him all the money that he was paying for rent. Damn. And what he was telling him was like, bro, you have the, cap the capability to save. So you you have the capability you to the prioritize you yourself, discipline. but you don't see it as that. Yeah. You would rather put the money towards a bill. Yeah. And like when I'm forcing you to pay it, then when you have the choice to, yeah. to, to, to serve yourself. Yeah. And that's a lot of us. You know, we yeah. serve other people freely yeah. but when yeah. it comes to time to serve ourselves and be right. the best version and right. put ourselves in the best space we, we don't do that i have to like get on jay because like you know jay has a day he's supposed to self-care and yeah. it's wednesdays and jay will have the audacity to be like yeah i gotta i'll be like I, I, no, I, but you Stevie, know what but i, I get it because yeah. when i sit go. still <clears throat> like it's like it's burning like it, that it's might be your self-care yeah. yeah. like when yeah. i sit still i will create something to do yeah like i rearranged my entire living room yeah. not even rearranged i redecorated my entire living room just to have something to do i needed a project yeah. it's like almost like yeah. adult adhd and yeah. then i realized like when i do sit because mm -hmm. i'm i'm predominantly by myself yeah. unless i'm with my daughter right and it's like i don't like idle time it's yeah. like thoughts i'm not in yeah. control idle of my thoughts yeah. like devil's, devil's playground, playground. Well, i'm not in control of my right. thoughts to the degree that right. i believe i am when i'm on right. the go when i sit still I start thinking about yeah. everything I've been through. I start thinking about things yeah. I'm not happy with and it eats at me. So I'm like, I got to move. So that's crazy. Like I, I used to say that, like that was a saying that I picked up growing up too. I idle mine is a devil's playground, but I figured out that it's, that's not actually true. It's what you're doing. With, it's, it's practicing how you deal with the idle time. So like something like, you know, just when I was practicing like meditation and like dealing with a holistic healer and stuff like that, that's why I had like, I seen you tweet recently, like you want to take up yoga. Like you can ask Jay, like I'll come in this. Oh yeah, my home girl, she, yoga. But she's it's an really, instructor, and I noticed like it's, it's the difference that I've seen in her yeah. from before she yeah, was an it's instructor a big difference to now. What happens is it's no longer idle time. It's really taking that time to kind of affirm yourself or sitting gratitude. So instead of thinking about like the problems I have or the bills I gotta pay or what I gotta get done or creating something to get done, you really just sit in your blessing like you kind of sit in like damn I, I i'm so happy i got my house i'm so happy that i'm able to, to so decorate. i have those moments I'm so happy, though i but do it's but it's not moments and, it's a moment yes yeah, it's it's, i can't it's, sit there too can, long exactly but you deserve to mm. but see i don't see, think i'm difference. i don't think so, i do yet let's but, let's let's you know what i mean like I, yeah. like i'll sit there and i'll be like all right you got a lot more it's than some other more. people but it's like nah, and it's okay. I want more. no and it's okay yeah. and i just posted something the other day it's like you know i'm so grateful you know even though i want more i'm so grateful for every little thing. oh yes you know everything I'm, I'm it's okay even for my more. health yeah look at everybody i know yeah. someone passed away today like my i'm just yeah from covid like yeah. an older man mm -hmm. it's like i'm just grateful even for that like i thank god every second but i still I'm hard on myself. Yeah. Everybody knows Everybody, that he knows yeah. me. I'm really hard on myself. I'm my biggest, that? like, I'm critic. my biggest yeah. critic. Yeah. You know, like, it's crazy that you said that because, like, I'm definitely grateful and thankful. Mm -hmm. But a part of my thanks 
to the to God, right? Is the that you're able to right? It's, it's like this grind. is one, this is something that I pray daily. Yeah. Like I thank so God to be able right. to go yeah. do it, right? Yeah. So it's like when I'm not doing it, it's like this is a blessing right. to be able to, to do go it. like you have and, your body your body is like exactly. come, i think that's where it just comes balanced because i don't think what you're doing is wrong and i don't Neither. think what you're doing is wrong and i don't think what we're i think if we could just find a good, a good even balance. balance and i was gonna ask y'all how do y'all balance it. um again like like you just know how jay sees a therapist he he put wednesday in jay's rotation if you are grinding seven days a week, you deserve one at least. Like you know what I'm saying? Just well, give then yourself they say God rested on the Even seven. Rested, you know what I'm saying? Say like, like you even. get one. Like you could go create the world, create your world all week long, but you get one day right. to yeah. just sit down, be thankful, do little things you like to do. I don't know if you don't like to watch TV, you could go get a pedicure. You could go sit. Like the other day, I went to uh, Gravely Point down by Reagan, and the planes fly very low there. Yeah, just water there. <laughs> you know I hate seeing no, planes but it's I can beautiful. be on one but you know I don't like seeing them yeah. I don't know why it's like a weird it's phobia. crazy because it, they fly over the water and fly and it's so peaceful but I took that time to myself just to have a moment you know what I'm saying and I prayed out there like I just and it's because like sometimes we are always doing so much I don't really in the house it's like you'll find something to do so I have to put myself like in a secluded place to make sure I kind of do it if that mm. makes sense like I have no choice because I'm here for a reason like you know what I mean just balance Yo, and just I, was balance. Gonna, I was gonna add like <clears throat> something because you asked like what do you do for the balance right how do you it's, create it's, that balance how do you create is what does self-care look like to you right you know what I mean and what self-care like might look like different it, everybody's exactly. self-care is not so it's and I was, all a different thing so to answer that question let's go back for a second mm -hmm. right because we kind of jumped ahead yeah how was y'all well, I'm, I'm going to mm -hmm. start with us. The question was was really like, how was your holidays, right? Because right. we, we hear a lot of people talk about um, seasonal depression. depression and mm -hmm. it's real. Oh, and, yeah. And I oh, feel like real. me and Sade mm -hmm. has definitely witnessed that like through yeah. our years of being together. And one thing to answer my own question, like how we dealt with it was, you know, we were more intentional. So, mm -hmm. for example, like last year, I think we had some troubles around the holidays and we talked about it on the podcast. And what happened was like this year, we were able to like recognize where we went wrong last yeah. year. So, for example, I know um, Sade was like kind of like irritated. Well, that's how it looked for, to me, right? So, for me, I just kind of like fell back a little bit. And not mm -hmm. falling back like I didn't care, yeah. but it was like be easy. Because right. like, I might, she always say yeah. I got something to say, right? So, like, instead of me saying something all the time, I might say something yeah. once in, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That makes sense. So, like, instead of me uh, pointing out her attitude, I probably recognize it and just be like, I'm going to just chill, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Because I understand what happened. Yeah. And I feel like the same happened with her, like, because my mom's came. And she was telling me, like, you ain't even, like, ask me. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, I go through things that you might not have remembered because you know about these things. Mm -hmm. Like, she lost uh, some family around mm -hmm. the holidays. And, like, mm -hmm. all these things come to mm -hmm. your mind when holidays hit because it's a reminder. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? So, mm -hmm. like, I feel like for us, mm -hmm. I was able to just take it slow right. in those moments when I seen right. she was irritated or something yeah, like that. Yeah, like, I think seasonal depression is just, like, a big deal for a lot of people because it could just be so many things. Like, you know, everybody's family isn't perfect or... Everybody mm -hmm. goes through different things, you know. For me, like I buried my brother and my grandmother all around Christmas, mm -hmm. like back to back. So it was just like every time the holidays get here, I'm always like Same. a little. And then I don't have the ideal family situation, so I'm always a little not on edge, but it's something that I'm still growing through. So like, how was you some, know? what were some ways that you dealt with it? Because yeah. again, you had some triggers that popped up. Like yeah. So like, um, I guess like this year. So you know, because I don't have like a big family, something that was very important to me is starting my own traditions because I didn't mm -hmm. grow up like with my mother or my father my whole life. So <clears throat> you know, this year was really like not even this year. I started last year, uh, cooking the whole Thanksgiving, cooking on Christmas. That was my first year taking that responsibility up on myself. Like before then, I would go to all my friends' house, like even. Jazz's house like you know and I always appreciate those friends like OD because I didn't have anywhere no family to go so it was really important for me to start my own traditions last year me and Jay got into a huge fight like the week of Thanksgiving it was my first year to cook and I'm like super excited and we get into like one of those fights where you don't know don't if you guys are going to come back anymore. from yeah. so you're like I don't even know if I want to do this and we talked about that on the podcast last year um this year you know I wanted it to be even better uh, so Thanksgiving turned out perfect and we were going into Christmas um, and Jay's mom's with, mom was coming. Um, he didn't directly tell me. Um, so I kind of was like, 
I didn't really know how to adjust because I had like this idea of like Jay, my daughter and I, and like a tradition. It wasn't that she was here. It was just that Jay has his own triggers that he goes through with his family too. So certain things that we were going to do, it was kind of like, let's not do that right now. And you know, when you have your mindset on something, like I need my holidays to kind of look like this. And it was like, I had to kind of alter to his trigger as well. I don't think we were ready for that. So we didn't have a fight this year, but we still kind of had a little dance because it was like, I was expecting one thing and he was like, well, I got to deal with it this way for my trigger. So we kind of had to face our triggers at the same time. So, so come to a compromise. Yeah. So like, cause I think this is something that um a lot of couples deal with mm -hmm. when it comes to like holidays, right? Their right. parents coming over and not mm -hmm. even just holidays, like just parents in general. How, how are you to deal with somebody's parent of yeah. your significant other's yeah. parent when they coming over for a special yeah. occasion? <laughs> like, how, like no because i'm laughing because <laughs> my baby father his entire family came over my house for um mm -hmm. christmas this year mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but how do you deal with that it. even when you like even if you're uncomfortable because like let's not be let's not let's be real right like we don't agree or get along with all of our significant mm -hmm. other's parents you know what i'm saying and sometimes it's a, it's a hassle and sometimes it's annoying as fuck yeah, but of course you want to so... be respectful to your significant right. other so how do you deal with that so because I got with my baby father when I was young, like mm -hmm. around 16, um, I've known his family since I was 16. Right. So it's like they, they kind of raised me grow. too. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, um, you know, it's just like it would be just like my parents coming over. It's like you're you're getting on my nerves, like with the little shit you're saying. But at the same time, like, I love you. I love the fact that my daughter gets to have mm -hmm. two sides of her family. Mm -hmm. But honestly, that's not really what hit me. Um, I had like a, a really dark moment on Christmas Eve because, um, you know, it was a lot going on on social media with yeah. the podcast thing. It was people saying stuff to me that I didn't appreciate, right. that I knew. And I had like all these people coming over my house. I'm in the middle of trying to cook. Um, I still got more gifts to wrap. You still got to look on your phone and see yeah. these dumbass people yeah. saying stupid shit. Yeah, so it was just like, all right, let me put the phone down and let me focus. But it did fuck my mood up a little bit because yeah. I felt like, even though I had all these people coming over, I still felt very alone. So mm. I had a moment where I um, I had the wrong size pan for the amount of macaroni and cheese I was mm -hmm. making. So I'm like, shit, let me run to the store. So during running to the store, the store was closed. I'm frustrated about yeah. that. Yeah. Um, and then the social media stuff. So I'm like, you know what? all right, fuck it, let me just readjust. So I borrowed something from my neighbor, everything worked out, but my baby father's brother came over and I didn't know he was coming over. Um, and he like popped up and I was like trying to do a million mm -hmm. things at once. Yeah. I'm wrapping gifts, I'm still not dressed. Right. It rained really bad that day, yep. so my clothes got yep. soaked. I'm cooking, like it's a lot going on. So he comes in and you know, it just, he started cooking. He was like, man, I got it. Like go over yeah. there, wrap the gifts, whatever. So I'm wrapping the gifts. And then I just had like a moment where I got overwhelmed. Yeah. So I had to like go in the bathroom and like lock myself in there yeah. for a second. And let it out. Yeah, yeah. because it was, it was something about visualizing him. I don't have male company in my house. So I guess it was him cooking that really triggered yeah. the fact that I don't have my daughter's father here. Yeah. And we yeah. have celebrated Christmas together mm -hmm. on multiple occasions. And I felt like you should have been here. This yeah. is, first of all, this is your You're family. Good. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I got all your yeah. siblings over here. He got a lot of siblings. Yeah. I got your mama, your grandmama, mm -hmm. your auntie, and your mama's here. boyfriend. Yeah, and you're not even here. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. And it just, it fucked me up. Yeah. Cause it's like, yeah. I was engaged to this man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's like, I do it by myself every single day. Right. But that day in particular, it's it fucked me up because yeah. I'm like, Damn, I do it every day. Yeah. Even on Christmas, yeah. I got to do it. Yeah. And then your your peoples are While over I here. Why well, I cater to your peoples? And <laughs> yeah. your peoples are over here. You should have been here. So, ladies, mm. I feel like this is something that's yeah. common, right? And yeah. <clears throat> how do y'all deal with those moments when you get overwhelmed? Because yeah. a lot of ladies are doing it by themselves, right? right? Like, right. what what is something that keep y'all going? And right. like, how do y'all? Like one th one thing for <clears> me, it's, it's always about Amaya. Like you know what I'm saying. So like at the d end of the day, like even though I was a little frustrated on Christmas and like you know the reminders of like my grandmother, my brother, my family situation, I always know the bigger picture. Like I know that Amaya doesn't deserve to go into the holidays with the same traumas that I did. So she deserves the best experience. So as long as I have her in the back of my mind, I'm always gonna push through it. Right. So and I think Jazz probably can. Yeah, it's to that. it's something about when you see your kid yeah it just 
makes you just it puts you at ease yeah. it's like damn i love her so mm-hmm. much like mm-hmm. i'm just blessed like damn god gave me somebody that i love wholeheartedly like if anything yeah, yeah she's not i'm not yeah. bringing any, any traumas on her mm-hmm. if i can help it that are coming from me, me. Exactly. now whatever she develops in her own life that's yeah. something yeah, she's that's gonna inevitable. have to deal with that i'm gonna have yeah. to aid her but yeah. i can't let it come from me yeah, let's have sure. some fun for a second yeah. i feel like we we deal with this a lot well not everybody deal with this what are some of the most annoying parts? Because we all, Alex, uh-huh. and you can chime in. Did you spend um, Christmas with your, your Well, your it was interesting. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. Nah, you need me to ask my question. It's not even, oh, shit. But it's just like holidays for me. Like, I've been quiet just listening to everybody. But holidays were kind of interesting growing up because, like, like I always told y'all, like, my dad was working. Family, though. Yeah, yeah, but my dad worked three jobs, you okay. know? So, like, I didn't really see my father growing up. So, holidays were always special because... We weren't rich growing up, but mm-hmm. we always came together as a family, you know? So even if we didn't have gifts and stuff like that growing up, we always had the presents. And I think this year was different because of COVID, you know, you couldn't have the family yeah. around. So this was like the first year that I didn't have a Christmas mm-hmm. dinner or something. So that definitely mm-hmm. lingered on me mm-hmm. because what ended up happening was like, you know, gift exchange and all that stuff. And I was just, I was at my girlfriend's house. I mean, we went to our families. Uh, went so y'all to, didn't spend with the family not together? together yet. Not yet, not yet. But okay. y'all knew. That's we fine. did have a conversation about it though. Um, okay. Because I was invited, but I was just like, not, not yet. yet. Not you know yet. what I mean? Like, that nigga said, hey, not, not yet. yet. <laughs> it's just, I don't know. Honestly, like we still, I just felt like it, it just wasn't ready. there yet. Nah, yeah, because I respect then, and, that because some people would show would up and, and then next and Christmas feel, you got to worry about her situation yeah, asking what happened to the guy right, from last right, year right. because right. she has you know her mom and her dad like are together so she has to go to two households mm-hmm. so it's like you know I like I'd have to hop into that okay. and then go to two different households get introduced and all of that so it was just I didn't want her to feel rushed. How did you recognize? Because a lot of us we know. But we aren't able to recognize it, right? And like point it out. How was you able to recognize that it, was it wasn't di- time yet? It was a discomfort, you know, mm-hmm. like, and because I felt even a little bit of discomfort. I mean, you're always, never going to be 100%, but the amount of discomfort that I had at that moment, I knew that I would have been time. forcing it so were you, to make it happen. Were you nervous to meet her family because you didn't know where y'all were going yet? Nah, it wasn't that. I, I think have with you her, met I'm her pretty family secure. at all before? I, I mean, she lives with her sister, so I've met like parts okay. of her. I yeah. mean, they know who I am. I'm talking about her clearly. parents. No, 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 okay. no, no. Her mom wants to meet me. Actually, she yeah. wants to do like a vision board, but it was really just a discomfort. So Where are y'all curious. finding? Hold on, hold on. A vision board. Where are y'all finding these? Like great uh right. in-laws i'm like my in-laws is trapping <laughs> still like where are y'all finding honestly board? i want to do a vision board they're right. gonna be like man go back oh, that up right yeah i mean they're not that much, they're like in their 50s. <laughs> let me tell you about Sh- 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 moms, right. right? like i heard so many stories about Sh- Sh- moms, right and you know a situation happened and um we were talking to her moms and like her moms almost brought a tear to my eyes because mm-hmm. like i always heard about Sh- Sh- moms and like yeah, she was trapping and like she was just this gangster. Nah, she for real. was. Yeah, no, and, and I believed it, but like it's crazy because I feel like. Why am I the, happy the, about that? I'm like, yeah. Mom's an OG. She is, right? So that's, that's the only stories I heard about her yeah. moms, right? So we was over there and we was having a vulnerable conversation. Mm-hmm. And I felt, it was like a part of me felt happy because like I'm getting it for the first time, but it felt like me and Sade was kind of sharing this for the first time as well, right? Mm-hmm. And like, cause the moms was just saying you. like, you know, um, thanks Lex. She was just Thank saying, you, basically like, we, we we don't live forever, right? Mm-hmm. Life is short. Mm-hmm. And like, as long as this doesn't happen from your yeah. significant other, then stick it out and make it work, right? Yeah. And I was just like, That's interesting this yeah. conversation that I'm like, where I'm like, uh, she's talking to both of us. Cause like, that, this was the times that we was, we was fighting and shit and like some yeah. shit happened. Mm-hmm. And she was just saying like, look, get that shit together like yeah. and, and and but she was talking to us real yeah. and i'm like i'm used to this my mom's yeah. talking to me like this yeah. right but the, the stories that i heard from her mom's right yeah. and i'm like yo we're witnessing this together and i'm looking yeah. at shadi i'm like damn yeah, you know, what? you know what's funny that my mom's going through too like they're getting older so that I think, that part too yeah but i feel like my mother-in-law like she so she did time you yeah. know what i'm saying yeah. she did some time and i feel like she always reinforces to me like look you the only girl my son has ever yeah. loved period mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but she also is like man live your life right. like right. you don't understand yeah. like i've been locked up yeah. i know what what yeah. was going on out here like yeah just live your life do not yeah. wait on him you deserve like she's That's like i love you like angle. a daughter like you deserve yeah. to live your life but she's like my son i mean my son does love you yeah. but you need to live your life yeah so like i think my mom you know because my mom did time and i think she's also getting older and i think she's seen enough out of life to know like you know you deserve the happy times like so yeah. even when i was telling her like we was going 
to out of town for my birthday and tell her what we was doing. And I was calling her and I update and she was like so happy. She was like, cause I'm just happy you're living your life. Like she was like, cause you know, I think our parents, I can say for all of us equally didn't get to experience all they would have wanted out of mm-hmm. life. You get what I'm saying? So you get to an age when you realize, uh, where they like, I don't have enough I don't time. Have I'm doing time. whatever I want they, now. Exactly. And they're like, look, you still have a lot of time cherish live it. your life and right. you cherish it like you know what i'm saying like so and, and, and to be honest and, if my mom didn't because I, I know my mom too my mom thinks jay is a very phenomenal man like she tells me all the time but if she thought he was a throwaway she yeah, would have told, told you like you know i've been in relationships prior to jay my mom she's doesn't telling you that get, she was telling I was us. listening. She was telling us. She was telling Shadow, like, look. She was telling no, but us. See, I was going to But what she said was one of the key words. He's saying that because my mom was like, and I know you because you my child. And she knows I'm, you know, you know, we, we we are very. Um, but to see that. And, was, and, yeah. and that's what I was going like, to say. Like, to yeah. see, like, to see we're, that. We're, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because like, we're, uh, you know, we're like, we come just from a different, you know, type of family. Like, Boom. we never had the traditional type of family. Like, we, we were raised on survival. We weren't a family raised out of a lot of love. It was really we got to get it this way and we going to get it this way. You know what I'm saying? So like to see her and force, like you don't have to go that way no more. And see, it, it, that's, I, I, that I like that yeah. though, that, because my mother, yeah. she don't, not to cut you off, but my mother is so like, she just would never but ever. But your mom's younger though, right? No, she not, just looks really young. I don't know what the fuck's going on. No, nah, like, that that's what I was gonna great. say. That's another yeah. reason. Ain't no niggas yeah. meeting my mom because they're gonna try to yeah. go smack. Yeah. Exactly. I done had that right. issue a few times, and yeah. I'm like, nigga, you're done. Like right. once you, I've had what? niggas try to literally. Yes, I've had niggas, niggas try to back door me and try to get at my mom. Yeah. I'm like, come on, like right. relax. Yeah, so they try to cheat on you with your moms. They tried to get at my moms a few times. Yeah. So question, I want to have fun. But hold up, she would never. My mother won't have those conversations with me. Like if I'm dating someone, my mother she might have a conversation with me, mm-hmm. but it's like she'd be like, I know you, like you gonna have another nigga next month, mm-hmm. like whatever. It's like she mm-hmm. won't take it seriously, See, and that bothers that's, me. That, but that was why I was gonna say that moment why it was important is because I mean I haven't met my girl's parents, but I have met other exes' parents in the past, and I feel like it's a moment of vulnerability. But then you get an understanding as to why your significant other is the way like you start to get more of an understanding like why you are the way that you are yeah. right. like what type of upbringing yeah. did you have what type yep. of morals were instilled yep. in you so then you can start to really understand yeah. and unpack the person that's yeah. in front of you because you're having this context yeah. and they give you like you know a parent would tell a story about a kid yeah. or somebody that you're with and you're just like wow i didn't even know that you right. like right. to do that you right. know like right. when did that die off yeah. so you're getting parts yeah. of your significant other that they may have forgotten about Facts. but your parents never forget because they see it yeah the whole time so right. i got a question for y'all what are some of the annoying things that y'all significant others parents do oh come on oh. My i ain't meeting yet like, i ain't meeting like, yet so like, what's some of the anno- even the ex like what's some of the annoying things that your your, your significant parents would do that <laughs> would just get on your nerves but you can't say nothing because that's, that's that's their parent is like fuck i fucking well i'm fucking start damn it say like, when, yeah, when they yeah, follow you, you on social <laughs> media don't ever let your significant other <laughs> <Shut up. laughs> like, like, block the ass what, 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 you block them? Fuck I can't yeah. figure I out which on. page is is hers because right. it's like some like no name. <laughs> it be the dumbest <laughs> name, bro. Right. It's like how you say they always seen some. I don't think my mom's know about the block thing. <laughs> my mom would think that her Instagram is messed up, so she will create like another one Instagrams, and I'll just block it. Like, I don't know what happened to your uh, like to my I social media. To I don't see, know like, either, man. Like I blocked you. I blocked you. That's what happened. But my mom's like my biggest supporter, so I like I eventually got over it. But I'm curious to know what are some of the annoying things that like. Um. So for since you know it's you know it, we're here, Jay's <laughs> we're mom. Here. She's so sweet. I ain't gonna lie to you. She's sweet, but I don't know if it's because I know Jay says it's because she's older. But she, you know how like older people like they're almost like babies again. So she's like a baby. Again. Oh God, like a brat. She don't have a man. Yeah, she actually well, does. she does have a man. Oh no, she does a younger thing too. Oh, because Jay think his mom don't get down. She get down, <laughs> like, cause she told me. She told he me. Don't like told that. You. Jay's mom has said some wild things before. He don't even know. Like one time, I'm. A, no, I gotta tell you this. Cause oh, no, wait, crazy. before you say it, the, the 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 dynamic in your household growing up, were you? Cause I know you have siblings, right? One. Right. So One. were you the man of the house though? Yeah. yeah. I was, so that's I, where I, that I, comes I, didn't grow, yeah. I didn't grow up with yeah. my siblings. Yeah. But then that's yeah. where that comes from. If it was you and your mother living together, you probably kind of took on yeah. the man role yeah. of the house. Yeah. Even though she told me he was a man at 12. Right. Yeah. So yeah. that that yeah. probably causes her to still turn yeah. to you yeah. as that 
that's our man. man figure. Yeah. yeah, you're her. That's yeah. That's his man. That's our man. You're his Whoa. side bitch. <laughs> No, but one th- one thing, uh, she is I am, I am, I am, I am. You You're knew, right. You I knew what I, I, I found out. Yeah, when his mom came in. He oh yeah, 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 yeah. He said, no, I'm, that's, spend I'm the side bitch. When his mom's here, I'm definitely the side. Basically, <laughs> exactly. Oh my god. Exactly. One time, a Jay mom going to say to me. <laughs> oh boy. She came over one day, one holiday. I think it was like I don't know. And she was like, you know, my son's breaking out. That means you're not giving him any. I said, whoa. I ain't never know about that. I said, I, I looked at her. I said, Mom, actually, we did it yesterday. Wait, you said this to my mother? Yes, I did. What yes, I did. Fuck? Wait, 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 wait. Yes, I did. No, seriously, the mom and because, girlfriend conversation. No, it, it'd be different. I've been trying to tell him. It's a different conversation. My other niggas, we talk about yeah, sex, like, everything. You know, it's nah, a different conversation. I don't think he I don't want my even mom know. to be Because they're both Scorpios. Yeah. So I don't want a Scorpio. Your mom said... She Your not, mom not. said you were breaking out because he, she was like, and I must have not been giving you any lately because you, you're breaking out. And I was like, actually, we did it last night. Why the if fuck you must she ever say that? I'm like, if you must know, we did Everybody's it last like, night. You Why you was that? here? Yes, I did. Why you was here? Because yeah, hold up, it's one thing. She so, going so, left. See, we were starting so good. Don't be trying to play me though because my, my baby no, mother, because my baby father's mother raised me. It's like, I can only imagine like what, what, what that's like. Cause because she basically like put in on raising me, it's like when she comes around me, she's still like my mom. But I'm like, ho, oh, I'm a grown ass woman I'm a now. grown you woman. You gotta watch the shit you saying I'm, to me cause I'm a, that's I'm a what I be, back. Like, and here's the thing I be trying to tell, you know, and this is just something I'm learning. Like, because when my mom, because when my mom, like I don't really have a filter around my mom. I was me never either. built like that. We can like, say from, whatever. Like, I've said whatever around my mom. <laughs> so like cursing from my mom, be like, yo, me too. But it's cause cursing. I, but I don't mean it. I don't mean it no way, but I it curse in front of my mom. So in like, my house, to be honest, in my house it like, doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean nah, see, anything. Like, my mom no, Jamaican. My mom cusses for nothing. Like nothing. She's t- like one day she called Jake talking Jamaican. He didn't even know what the fuck she was I saying. Like So wait, my baby father's but, mother has a rule of no cursing. And my baby father <laughs> has the same rule. They don't curse. I'm like, so y'all don't curse, but y'all put niggas in the dirt? <laughs> like I don't I'm understand. Confused. Like like it's no such thing as halfway crooks. And you're more righteous, righteous than me? You're, it's no such She'll be like, cut crooks. that rap music off we're, around we're, the kids. We're talking figuratively here. We're talking figuratively. I'm like, what? I just, wait. We're talking <laughs> figuratively here. So what are some what? things that they do that's probably get on your nerves? All right, so my baby father's mother is one of those people who is like forever just going to be like into herself, living the fast life, whatever. So Sounds like you. So it's funny because my baby father always says, you're my mom. And I'm like, <laughs> at, at. <laughs> <I'm home> alone. <laughs> but she's very dramatic. Um, Sounds just like you. Oh, please. I'm, I'm okay, I'm so, sorry. like, maybe it is like me because she came for Christmas and, you know, I had every... I'm fun, I'm real funny about people knowing where I live and, yeah, you know, stuff like yeah. that. Um, and she brought her her dude and he, uh, he younger, you know what I'm saying? But I know about him because I used to date somebody that he works with. So it's How like... How the parallels just... I know you ain't bringing this... Bozo to so my house. house. Like, not even joking. a no. He's like you know who he's friends with. Who? Don't say no name. Yeah, say names. Ghost. Oh wow. Yeah, so you know what time it is. So I'm like, oh, yeah, you bringing this nigga through my house? Like, nah, hold up. But she come in. First hey, of all, the first of all, here. Ghost died in season is. six. You know who Ghost? Yeah, is. think about Don't it. Play. Season six. You he know who you, you know who Oh, is. wow. Yeah, exactly. So you she was bringing his is. people to my house. I'm like, That's my boy. dog. Yeah, yeah, what the fuck is going I'm on? I'm like, chill. Like, yeah, she yeah. got like, yeah, to be careful. We're not about to be collateral damage in this Thank motherfucker. Thank you. She bringing this yeah. nigga through, and I'm looking at the gifts he's giving out. I'm Ghost, like, y'all niggas funny as nah. shit. I hey, just yo, got it. Hey, yo. Everybody was going to catch that. Nah, I don't want nobody to catch that. But he didn't say anything. I was sitting there thinking. I was like, wait a minute. I said, I peeped though. The nigga looking at me like, yeah, yeah bitch, I know you. <laughs> yeah, and I'm like, oh, guys, um, the mac and cheese is done. And like, he looking at me like, oh my mm-hmm. god, somebody in the comments gonna figure it out. Like, <laughs> oh, they must be talking about. <laughs> my niggas in the comments be wrong. Like somebody, was, everybody, a couple people. They're like, always wild wrong. Right. Like, they're gonna okay. be like, oh, she used to be dealing with Omari Hardwick. <laughs> <laughs> that is what they're gonna say. Facts. <laughs> What about you, Jake? 
Alex? What's what's the, an annoying? I mean, besides that, your moms don't come around. Like your mom's not oh, annoying. Yeah. Like I yeah. just be wanting her to pull up, but yeah. like, like my mom's really a drug dealer still. I think like she be like. So that's in how the I feel about my like, mother-in-law. Like she's so she's <laughs> she so don't. self-absorbed. Bro, that she, she don't pull up, bro. Like, but she'll, she'll pull, pull up, up on a late night. Like she'll pull I can't up. Come in. What the fuck? Like, <laughs> hey, no, oh <laughs> god, my baby father's she mother. That's baby that's that's habit, so I ain't gonna lie. She pull up in the rain. She pull up in the rain. She why her one out? That's habit. My baby father's mother drives some. What is it? A Camaro? It's a yeah. sports car. It only. It's a two seater. She has a son who's twelve. I'm like, so she's man. Get him off then. In my house one by one. Like, uh, uh-uh, uh, because you know my car ain't no, built sad. for. That's I'm like, car. but you <laughs> have a young kid. You should have get him off then. Cut the shit out. But then she paid her dues. Really, <laughs> that's not. She she's never like, did I paid though. My dues. But she really didn't. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm not gonna take that from her. But yeah. like my baby father. That nigga really raised himself. Yeah. So it's like, I can't say that. But she loves him to death. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But she's so fast life that mm-hmm. she never thinks about that. So one night she pulled up to my house and was like, yeah, um, I'm dropping off. She dropped off her son. It was like 11 p.m. on the yeah. school night. I said, what? What's going on? She was like, I'll be back. She's like, give me a couple uh, hours. I bet you will be I'll back. I'll be back. Give like, me a couple hours. It's 11 o'clock. Give me a couple hours. Yeah, I was just like, six in the morning. Okay. Like. I just want to know what time she came back. The so next morning. she. Like it was five. well. It was the next morning, but allegedly she went to some casino that was really far out. <laughs> <laughs> so she came. The casino back. is always the decoy. Okay? But it's like she always comes back. She's always up. So I'm like, whatever you're doing, I, I went want in part. next time. Yeah, because you're not gonna be trying to tell my mom. Like, I look, mom. I don't care. But you I know what's crazy? Parts. My baby father, <laughs> his mother, and my mother are like this now. Yeah. And I don't know how that developed yeah. because because he got me pregnant when I was only 16 and he yeah. was like 18. It really like created animosity between our families. Yeah. But yeah. now, they oh my like goodness. They you know like why I feel like though? Uh, because right. nice. I saw that similar with my niece and similar with my sister. It's the kid. Yeah, it's the kid. It's what brings it's them the together. Like they look at, they focus yeah. on like, you gave me a grandchild. Yeah. You know, and like parents love their oh, grandbabies. No, they love More their than us, for real, oh, for real. Let's talk about my that. Mom loves my mother Maya. sends me these and goes, yeah, me and um his mom are going in half on these bags for Janiyah. See? Because we got a little money right now. I'm they like, get everything. Oh, right oh from the house. Uh, uh-huh. 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 My kid does not need a YSL uh-huh. bag or a, a Burberry bag. You like, know, it's, you know, what? It's, that's cool, though, because like, Shade moms, what she'll do is she'll buy one for her. For her. And then she'd be like, <laughs> she, Oh, she, me? <laughs> you oh, go no. to hell. No, I I'm said, like, oh, let me, uh, no, no, let me no, get that no. Louis bag. That's I you said, said I'm going to get this to Amaya. For Janiyah. Yeah. Not me. I don't get no purse. I get, like, I got. Amaya get uh, wine uh, and I'm crazy. I got a, um, you know what I got for Christmas? I got <laughs> one of those things you put oil in and it like the oil diffuser. <laughs> a diffuser. Oh, the diffuser. Yeah, that's what I, I got. Mean, no, like, no, they love. No, 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 no. Hey, that's But it's making like, me lazy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it. But I'm just like, but they didn't even bring no oil with it. So right? I'm just but like, you want to buy her YSL bags. Right? Fuck out of here. Come because on. she probably know you <laughs> and she probably would have got an oil for you and you'd be like, I don't like this. I ain't gonna lie. See? She know your kid. Some fucking Dolce No, his mom Bro. Uh, cologne. cologne. And like my good. favorite, like my favorite gifts be like shit like that. Mm-hmm. So you gotta be careful. Tell her like, don't give me no like, cologne. She was like, well, she like, she was like, what does Jay want for Christmas? I was like, call him. I don't know. She was like, I'm gonna get him some cologne. She was like, here. She sends me the money. She's like, and don't go spend it on nothing else. Make sure you go get Jay's cologne and this one specifically. You had to get go him get it? the. D- you That's feel what I'm saying? I be like, a while I, I gotta be go getting get... put in, I be getting put in those same situations. It'll and, be like, and make sure you get him the Dolce Gabbana and tell him is this one is brand new, just came out. I want that one. I was like, she got me right. That shit is fire. Nah, that like, shit smells. You gotta be careful. Like, they can't get a nigga no cologne because like that's. Yeah. Some, I was telling Shadé, I was we was joking. I'm like, yo, what do you get a nigga that? Cause I think you asked this question. Mm-hmm. I'm, what do you get a nigga that has everything? Mm-hmm. And it's shit like that, like cologne, yeah. a wallet, yeah. like yeah. little a watch, <laughs> like add on to fire, a belt, like yeah. Just add it to the collection. Yeah, to the collection. That is hard to me. But yo, let's 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 get into it. Um, mm-hmm. Tell Bria we said what's up. Uh, uh, let me just say I love <laughs> I love my mama in law though. Because okay, if she watching this, girl, I love you. She she was she was ready to take me in a few fire. times. Yeah. So I always got yeah. respect for her. So it's crazy because man, man, shout out moms ain't really like we don't have a close relationship mm-hmm. like that. But I fuck with her because like you ever fuck with somebody from a distance. It's like you like you just feel the energy. Know. You just feel yeah. the energy. Like, they don't know like, that you fuck with them my so mom much. thorough like her, though. Yeah, like yeah, my mom, mom thorough. Talk, 
Yeah. We don't have like long conversations, but like they're meaningful. She, you can she, feel like yeah, she's thorough. Like yeah, she like, is, I fuck she with is. her. Like that's my dog. Like I ain't gonna lie, I got that vibe yeah. from the first time I met her. Yeah, she's her. My mom's she real cool thorough. Shit, bro. Like, like she, um, she's still young. Like she's youthful. Like she might be older, but she's yeah. youthful as fuck. And you know it's crazy. Like it's funny because like you know I have my own relationship with my mom just due to our own hardships. But one thing about my mom, my mom's hilarious, son. That's where I get my sense of humor from. Like she's. Like you no, know how we be, be capping when we say that's funny. my mom. She's she not, funny. She be dead she, ass. No, but she, she be, be dead ass. <laughs> but it's funny <laughs> she as shit. Ass. Like she just be having the. I was like, what did you just say? And then she's Jamaican, so she's just. It's just funny. She's, but I, I feel, feel like, like when you get just older, you just down around my mother. My yeah. mother is like super. Oh, cause, um, cool. she's, nah, yeah, yeah, your mom's, mom's uh, like, she's a like, she's like a young. Your mom, like, cause your mom is giving. Yeah, she's like do it or don't. Right, fuck out the way. Niggas just be like. Hi like, Nicole. Yeah. <laughs> and very, she's I fuck very with Nicole though too. And no, I don't know. I, fuck with I didn't Nicole. get that vibe. See, Shawty moms, I think I'm not. I don't know if this is true. You didn't get that vibe from my really mother. This, you yeah. must not have been around her long enough. Because if you know my but mother, like she's Shade awesome. Mom, if I was to say I don't have it, like she probably would go half with me. Like just don't tell her. So don't yeah, tell her I give that's it to my you. Mom, I don't. We never had that experience, but I feel like she would just like that. Like, but yo, let's get into this. Um, because I feel like ladies had a lot to say about this when you first brought this up in a meeting, Alex. I'm like. Why do we care? What are we talking about then? Jazz and Shaw, they were just like, because... Nah, like, you said it. Oh, yeah. That's because like, what you I, said. What? They was like, like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, you're you right. So, so basically, like, the context of the conversation, because uh, we're getting into shit, Masika, I don't know what her last name is, loving hip-hop star, uh, essentially confirmed that she is engaged after curving the man for 10 years. And her exact words was that she curved him for 10 years. And essentially, social media took that and was like... Well, you settled, you know, like you, you made it seem like it was a heartfelt message. But essentially what you're telling us is you curved them. You went and did what you wanted to do and it didn't work out. So now you're settling so for So let him. me ask y'all. Y'all chasing a bitch for 10 years. The the phone. Well, God then tell damn. them stop sending me professional photos. You know I'm banging. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I, 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 I ain't gonna lie. 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 I ain't gonna Sleep, we're right recording. Yeah, like, you see, this is real about? time, nigga. I'm sorry. But go hey, ahead. Go yo. Ahead. Hey, yo. No, no. Chade was about to say question something. question is, okay, so first of all, are y'all chasing a girl for 10 years who chose, who literally picked niggas on niggas on niggas, niggas on niggas that was over y'all? So can we have over a real, y'all? So y'all ready for a real conversation? I, boy, we are, always ready for a real conversation. Okay. All right. If y'all want to be the real, real, y'all, y'all the conversation. All right. If, if, <laughs> Period. What Come did, on. What did Tariq say? I what? am the bad idea. What do you say? Well, he said, I, I, am, I am a killer. I, no, that's like, his face. I'm oh, the monster. He's like, I'm a killer too. He's like, I'm a killer too. He's like, I am the bad situation. What was oh, he saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. He's like, I am the bad situation. So Thank hold, you, keep, Lex. Keep it this cute. shit busting. Yeah, give me. Shout out to Lex. Bro, this is my third cup. What is that, honey? Yo, whatever she's doing, keep doing the thing. That thing thing you do. That little thing you do. Keep doing it. That little thing you do. Do that thing again. Put that drizzle in there. Shout out to Lex, yo. She be. Nah, because I ain't doing this shit with Lex. I told Lex last week. I said, Lex not loud over here every Sunday. Yo, last week, Lex had me lit from Lex, 1 Lex. to 9 p.m., bro. I swear to God. I said, you're not coming over here every Sunday. No, y'all up. Be, she be and guess what up. she did? Show right, <laughs> right back up. And like, I'm like, Show right I'm back up. Like, Lex, more, please. So last week, we was in this bitch. Leaning. Lean Lean I had to go have a meeting a professional meeting and you're over built. here like what nah, so i'm on the meeting i'm like can you guys see me i'm leaning on the bed i'm like can you guys see me? Like, nigga we can't hear they're you like, I'm so, well, they're like they're like can you see me i'm like they're like uh y yes we can they're all looking at each other like so Is she okay? we wanted to discuss and i'm like oh here we go and then, <laughs> and then, and then and this bitch monique comes out the bathroom in the room and she and lit like, too wham oh my and i'm like nah monique low said, ass was said, lit last it's, week it's a lot of go it's a lot going on right now so you have to excuse me i said in fact i said i, I gotta get out of here <laughs> so, so, so just in the meeting right there I, yeah, so uh, no. right if y'all want to have this real conversation i feel like Ladies th always think, well, I don't want to say what y'all always do, but right, when it comes to situations, let's not get it fucked up. Niggas ain't waiting 10 years. Fuck we might here. be doing our- I'm making a nigga wait a lifetime. Okay, cool. And if you think a nigga waiting a lifetime, but my thing we still is, okay, busting you it down. Okay, Bust whoever you want, but when uh, I call, you even better if, get Even if you're here. doing your thing, you really want a bitch who's been choosing niggas after niggas after niggas yeah, where's over your a 10 year span and still choose her? So it's not the fact that- I want, I don't care. If I like you, I like you, right? So mm. if, 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 if you want to do your thing, cool. 
I'm gonna do my thing. And if we These come, niggas love understanding. If we, if we come, if we come back together ten years, ten years later. And you fucking with me, and I'm still fucking with you. These fuck are it. these with those what bitches that it's always an understanding. Like that, you know what that tells me? They was fucking around while she was in those relationships. That's what I hear. I mean, like that's, that's, that's just that's what. That's yeah, yeah because there's no way. I like, want to be a best friend. Yeah, but, yeah uh, they love an understanding. I tell you. See, that's, don't steal my nah, game. Nah, he's a, Jay, he's, Jay trying to steal my game. You know, he, I'm he just saying, like, I don't mind being your homie. We can be you. You could be my B U D D Y. Like, what did they make wow. a song? I'm just saying. Like, we was, homies. Are, you a, are you a buddy ass we nigga? We was homies for ten years. You a buddy ass, ass nigga. Now when we got married, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's lit. I already know. Our, so who, who our vibes gonna be lit. You was my w. best friend for ten years. Who's gonna be your buddy if I W right now? Who gonna be my buddy? Yeah, tell me, spill the beans. It's a girl, right? Her name, um, Pamelina. She get me right every time. Yeah, you Palmer, Palmer lawyer. Palmer been loyal since been day loyal one. Since for, <laughs> y'all been, y'all been Palmer nasty. Palmer so, wait, wait, wait. Palmer Palmer did y'all wash your hands? Pamela, Pamela, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, we gonna get back what here. We, we always go about? on a tangent. We gonna get back. I swear to God. <laughs> Question: I wanna ask. Don't don't go too much into this, y'all. No, because y'all can do that. <laughs> know I'm go in. Is it? Is, is it? Is it? Opposite day. It's a low. In reverse. Is it? Yo, Shade. No, it was the end reverse. Come on, stop. So, Shade, question. What? Is it That's inappropriate gonna... or is it cheating if yes. your man masturbates? Because girl, apparently girls don't like that. I okay. masturbate. I masturbate too. I masturbate. So I don't think, okay. No, I do too. I don't Wait, think it's inappropriate. Have, I masturbate. I, I do too. You do <laughs> Nigga, you bought me the dildo. <laughs> Niggas know about the diddle. We talked about the diddle on the podcast before. You know we did. You know. Because every, every, every time Jay every time Jay get pissed I off. I bought Shade the fucking toy. It's not a diddle though. I bought Shade the toy. You wanna do the play with him with the toy. Wait, 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 wait. The way you said that, no, no, no. Not that way. I bought Shade the toy so she can use it while we were having sex. And then she just hogged it, and I never see it. Hogged it. Sex. I like, never see it. Every time we're in an argument, I see the fucking shit plugged it's up. It's like a threesome. And, like, and you're like, wait a minute. Like, that shit is corny. There's three I like of us. That's my, side, that's my side nigga for doing sure. Or, wait a minute. Right? That's like, how Jay feels. Yeah, yeah, he does. He was really, he gets really upset when he sees that dildo. Like, he doesn't, appre- he's like, fuck this. I should have never bought this shit. You, gotta you know what's going to be funny? One day, you're going to get mad, and you're going to plug it in. But it's my favorite color, so it does work. Watch you plug it in one day. You're going to be mad on some petty shit. That's gay. I'm just saying, you gonna Honey, yo, what? what happened? You gonna plug it in for her? That's what I'm saying. I'm gonna throw that bitch out the window. <laughs> <laughs> but, right, so I don't think it's inappropriate for your man to masturbate. Now, I do think it's inappropriate if you're doing it instead of having sex with me. Like, if you're like, if you're like, fuck this bitch, I'm gonna get this shit done myself, and you ain't even try to have sex with that's me. Weird. Now I have an attitude. That's, that's weird. weird. But exactly. I think I feel like that's men, weird. I feel like that's suspicious. I feel like that's, men, that's, 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 that's us. That's us. We have that's a routine us. though, like you know, like like some niggas say. What you mean a routine between like, me and your hand? Yeah, yeah, like you know, like sometimes I might. I might want What are we talking talk? about? Wait, what's going on? This man Wait, I feel wait, like the hands. For, well, go ahead. Go I feel ahead. like first line? No. Sometimes, sometimes. <laughs> I'm trying to. No, focus. absolutely not. Tyrese spins a heartfelt message. I'm going to say sometimes. This ain't working. Sometimes we just want some time to, to ourselves. You know what I'm saying? Like, With your want, hand. Yeah, like it's just like. So do you feel like it's a better experience? No, fuck no. Nah, what? Not a better experience. Nobody say that. I don't lie. I don't lie. You did but that then, for me. <laughs> they about to throw out every everything is getting thrown out. Hey yo, he knew. The bitch had to bust a nut. Jamal's gonna be on podcast. No, 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 Feeling like that, it's, but then it's sometimes I'm like, like whoa, ooh, like baby, ain't nobody ever hit it like me. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> you asking, I don't even know. I don't know why you ask this question. Yeah, I, 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 I was a nigga. I'm giving y'all the way. 
fuck are you talking about? If you was a nigga, you would get you out the way? As if I don't get you out the way? I'm not saying that. That's not what that's I'm not saying. That's not what you're saying. But I'm saying I understand what yeah, you're saying. Yeah, it's like, you know I'm, I'm that bitch. You, you do. You don't do. Don't play me and I you eat do. your pussy right. You do. Don't you ever do. Play with me. You do. You do. Don't ever play with me. You do. But we're not talking From about you. We're talking that. about these. <laughs> <laughs> The good, the good. You don't even do it right. Hey, oh yes, we do. Yes, I do. <laughs> Sis, I tell you, hey, <laughs> tell, the, tell the nail tech not too sharp on Just these things. <laughs>
if I like if I originally like tall niggas, right? That's a preference. What are you doing? Yeah, my shit probably like longer than you. You're gonna relax. Cause like why you, are you telling the people so with I'm your sizes? So bitches gonna be like, oh yeah, because you know. You talking about your box? You was like, this that wop wop wop. You yeah, said you your did, did, yeah, like, you did. You did. Like yeah, because I got that wop wop. Like yeah. Well. Well. How do we so, get here from settling? I'm just trying to figure out. So like, I think that's a preference, but like again, that's not like settling if. I fall in love with somebody that's shorter than 6'2". Okay. That's, to me, that's not settling. That's just, I'm not, that's typically my preference, but now I try the other side and I'm okay with that. Like, so you know what if I'm that's your preference, that's, you don't think that's settling at some, no, some, some type no. of degree? I don't think anything that comes to looks, physical, or whatever, that's a preference thing. Like, because I don't have to like, like, like for example. You can be attracted to somebody and they don't fit, like I, like I said cool. to you Pull it before. up, you know what time it is. Can we pull, pull up the definition of sell, settling, please? If okay, you don't mind? sure. Because I feel like but settling. But while we do that, I'll say go ahead. that, you know, like an example would be somebody who's never traveled. They right. may think that where they live is the best thing ever. But when you go somewhere else <clears throat> and you see how other people are living and you see like a different view, it changes what you now right, deem right, as right. the best. So exactly. just because you don't fit her her preferences that she had before you doesn't mean that you did not exceed them in other ways exactly. that was like it's more important exactly. than that. And don't so you to think me that, that's not settling. So you don't think that when no, you compromise, not at all. you're settling in one? No. no. Compromising and settling two different things because you can compromise. Honestly, when you compromise, it should be because you want to. All right, let me read it then. Settling is like you don't have y'all a choice. Y'all know I love y'all know, a y'all know, y'all know I love a It says what? It says to resolve, to resolve or reach an agreement about so about an, an argument, argument or, or a problem. Okay, that's not, cool. So it's not, not an okay, argument that's or a problem. That's a big difference because you, uh, somebody being six two and you being five nine and a half, isn't an argument or a problem for me. You get what I'm saying? Like that's not a problem. Like oh my god, he's five nine and a half. Pew. Like it's not <laughs> giving that. You get what I'm saying? Don't ever do that to me. <laughs> Not the pew. <laughs> so, but I feel like, but if you like somebody that's six feet and taller, I feel like if you like that, right, that's what you like. So if you're going to go with somebody that's or shorter than that, then you come to an agreement. Or what if that's just what I've right? That's just what I have All the niggas you talk to was a six feet or higher or taller. Six feet and higher, they were. <laughs> they were. They were. That's fine. But it's okay. No, I'm, I'm not mad. It's okay. But guess what? Like, where I lack, I'm making other what? places. So I'm but guess you what? Do. It doesn't matter. I'm very confident. It doesn't matter about what happened before you unless it spills into your new relationship. So exactly. if she's buying you platform shoes, all right, <laughs> that's a big hit. <laughs> not for real. That's not I, mean, I wonder why she always bought me Timberlands every year for Christmas. Like, I get it though. Like, every year you want to give me some fucking Timberlands. Like, I'm good. Went, right? Right? If you get queens, cause they got a little, no, a little inch, them. you want that's, inches. But if it's, if it's, if it's like I don't like this disrespect that's taking your place on this podcast for your birthday that's a big hint but if she's not if I'm like anything, baby here's just put stand the on this box while for we our do picture it. yeah just like see how it if feels. it's not spilling now into that's your current difference. if it's not spilling into your current then obviously it's not an issue it doesn't matter it's not a problem or an argument so y'all don't your think that's a se definition Jay. I, okay. I mean no. I'm not taking a nigga under 6'7 you know so but i'm well, that's not you the out there how, how talk six seven and he's your everything you're going to throw away your everything for to continue to deal with bullshit you mean because a nigga six he, five seven i'm always going to choose bullshit <laughs> over five seven i'm only that's i mean crooked. i'm five that's, six like that's a big jay that's a lot it's like that's just sad yeah, my, are you my choose? nigga or am i yours but like, choose. don't ever yell at me yeah but but that's over like, there height you're yeah. choosing like it's like you're saying fuck happiness to deal with something that you want. That's a no, fantasy. No, because see, here's the thing. It's not no fantasy. Here's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the thing. It all depends on how the person is treating me because I didn't say that you said I you wanted, would never deal with a nigga under five seven. I said period. six seven. Oh, six seven. Okay, even worse. Like, what the fuck? How many <laughs> niggas in the world are six seven? A lot, a lot. actually. You, a lot. You'd be y surprised. Think it's a lot because y'all probably in the same little ass circle, but it ain't a lot. It's NBA players and niggas that's ex NBA players. Like, it ain't a lot, nigga. That's six, that's ex. <laughs> that's <laughs> it's not like come on. That's like, not true. It's, like, it's not a lot. <laughs> Secret of that. <laughs> She's like, she's like, that's not true. No, you, you too. You ain't obvious. I, what did I say? Like a lot. It ain't a lot. Like, nah, but you I ever seen a 6'8 right. nigga nah, working an office job? Like, no, like, it's not, it's not okay, a lot. That shit be looking uncomfortable not, okay. as shit. They're just tall as shit in that cubicle. Three 
you know. Wayne yes. say six three six three and six seven. So, totally different. So I'm not dealing with somebody under six seven. So the reason why I'm not dealing with somebody under six seven. So if the nigga was six eight and just worked an office job in a cubicle, like I said, he has a chance. If he treats me good, so you telling me just off the height, six two, man. So I dated guys. I'm gonna tell every nigga that watch this podcast go get the knee replacement. You got a chance. Get you some. Go add the knees. Get you some stilts. I come from a family of fairly tall men. Okay, so that's one thing. Your pops ain't that much taller than me. Okay, but look at my mother's father, my brother, all my cousins. Like I got some tall motherfuckers in my family. Do you like your father? What? I would never (laughs) want a man like my father. He's a great man, but so he is Mr. not Bob the is type of man, man that I would go for. But your for. father's a great man. I don't so give a clearly damn. Clearly, it's people out here that's great men under six seven. So you're gonna throw away your happiness for a hold fucking on. Height? Here's the thing. Here's the that's thing. That's ridiculous. No, listen. Here's All right. The so thing. if he's six if six, he's, <laughs> hold, on, hold, on, hold on. I got a question. question I got a once a question. How tall was Lamar? He was like six six. Yeah, nah, that Wait, nigga was nah, tall. Nah, that nigga's tall. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I come through like I do. I come through so like, look what, look what I always had. come through he like six, I do. Six, listen, listen, listen. He six, came six, on the show. Six, bitches six. was geeking. They was like, wait, this is him? I'm like, who yeah, thought listen, was taking I, me to McDonald's? Bitches was checking, checking for Lamar. Bitches was checking for Lamar. They were. They were. He was 6'6", and he still ain't buying you no motherfucking McDonald's. So now what? Okay, but hold on, wait. Wait, no, no, no. Let's be very clear. Hold on, let's be clear about that situation because... I could pull up text right now of him saying he needs to redeem himself. He needs to now redeem himself. Now we changing the narrative. I fuck with Lamar. It ain't changing cool. no All narrative. Is you still have now he's say. trying to make sure Lamar knows. Because you, you know Lamar knows. Yeah, because <laughs> Lamar's watching. <laughs> but hold on. No, no, I'm no, just no, saying. I can no. call him too. What I'm saying is, all I'm saying is he was six, Look at Jay invading on my life. I can call him too. No, right, you know, right. Invading. Invading. I'm just saying. All I'm saying is, he was 6'6". Six, six. He wasn't 6'7". Because you said, I'm never going to date a man under 6'7". Did seven. I date and Lamar? Did. It yes, didn't work. Did. That's another reason why I'm like, another one bites the dust. It didn't work. Because you're if you were 6'7", oh you would have bought the Happy Meal. A nigga 6'7", is too her I'm not to buy the Happy Google Meal. How many people in the world are 6'7"? <laughs> a a lot. It's the earth. I can you tell you right percentage? now. I bet I, you can Google it because it's not ordinary. No, it's look, it's probably Joe 2%. Off the the fuck? Rip. Nah, because y'all got him fucked up, he said. Let me see. What, what's the percentage, Joe? Given the world population of Joe uh, came over here quick. 7.2. He wasn't fucking around with y'all. 1 billion gives 63.36 million people. That's who a, are lot of, a lot of people. To That's, one bitch? To s- don't, don't, don't even don't, hey, don't tell me them hey, stats. Babe, I'll be out there like, where they at? 63 million, they said? Babe, I love you to death. Yes, babe. But don't get on this camera and show how stupid. <laughs> listen, listen, hold up, hold, wait, listen, wait, wait. See, hold up, time listen. out. Wait, hold on, because now we have an issue. What's the percentage See, of? You're calling it stupid because it's not your no, preference. No, 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 but wait, no, let me no, just finish. So stupid. wait, let me just finish. Settling is every everybody has their own perception of settling, uh-huh. right? So did I? I didn't say that I wouldn't fall in love in the future with somebody under six seven. I have fallen in love with somebody who's six foot three, cool. who's six foot four. I mean, so. It's not to say that I can't hey. deal with shorter men, but what I'm saying is, if if it's what I desire, I'm going for what I'm going for the gusto, bitch. Fact, I'm listen, going for what I out. want. Jazz so mate out here, five five, five and she don't even know it. Sorry, <laughs> go to hell. Go to hell. Sorry, Sorry, go to hell. hell. Why Jazz gonna fall in love with a nigga that's five three? Go to hell. Everybody go to hell. Jazz, I'm gonna give you a parachute. You just jump to fucking conclusions. I wasn't even about to say nothing about you falling in love. I'm saying. Don't get on here and show how stupid you are because we're talking about percentages. That's all, all right, I'm talking about. Percentage? When you talk about 7.2 billion yeah. people, all right, you're all talking right. about 63 million out of 7.2 billion. Do you understand that? Can we do that percentage, please? I'm pretty sure it's a small Honestly, we understand. Honestly, it's not a big we, percentage. We, like, we, come we, on. We okay, understand. you act like we're not in 2020 where we have exactly. access to social media. Like, okay, but how many people are on social media? I travel. You know, I might meet. I, hell, I met a 6'8 nigga one time coming back from the DR, and I was like, all right. <laughs> but my point is, they're everywhere. You so know? you think, all right, so back to And they're easier first. to see. <laughs> Clearly, and they probably got and, maybe that's why. And you know, you know, you know. Let's let's really do the math, right? A part of that, right? A part of that, like small percentage, right? Some people have, and I don't want to. I mean, I mean, because I don't want to make this a joke. This is serious. Some people that are all that tall have fucking medical conditions because they're that tall. Because you know, that's a, a condition. Like you, you grow that, that tall, and I don't know your knees, that, your legs, yeah, I don't know all of exactly that shit. Explain, so I won't do that. And it's not a joke because your body but, but, can't really right, sustain I, the I weight. To say, you're telling me you want. Smaller than one percent. Sustain this good one thirty-five. But you want, you want no smaller problems. than you want. You want smaller than a one percent chance. Yes, I do. I of want your love, and okay, and that's fine. And and I can't fight that. I can't argue that. However, what I'm saying is, you're going to throw away somebody who loves you. Is is eight percent? 
about eight percent. Okay, cool. Eight percent. Come through with the facts. Pretty facts. Shout out to the facts. So thanks, somebody Jeff. that's in, in, in the eight percent range of the entire world, you're gonna throw away your possibilities of love to be with somebody that's six, seven. Okay, so that's not what I'm saying. That's so exactly what you it's said. It's not what the fuck I said, nigga. If you listen, you're gonna hear what I'm, I'm saying. I'm not dating a nigga that's shorter than six. I didn't seven, say period. that. I said that I want to be with someone who's over six seven. I do. Now in Wait, my over? Person, so six, six seven and over. Okay. My personal uh, experiences with dating, it could be because when I was younger, I dated a guy who was six foot nine or six foot ten, and he was like, like he had like big broad shoulders, and he used to pick me up, and it's like I get in fights with him, but it'd be like child's I, play. Yeah, it's like she I felt like, like a was, kid. Yeah, because it's, it's like, like Tarzan somebody and Jane. Yo, can yes. you Google how tall is Shaq? How tall is Shaq? What? The f I'll quit. I will quit. Ta I'll quit the podcast. Jay, are you on? What's in the cup, Lex? Which, <laughs> how tall is he? Are you okay? Are you okay? Why there are you we go googling? Jump to conclusion All right, again. okay. You, I mean, how? <laughs> nah, that's like you setting a nigga up. I, like, did, how, I didn't say that's shit. Like, I just that's said how? Like, because that's the tallest nigga I ever met. That's all. <laughs> I <said. laughs> took a picture with him. Jason protected me. All right. You jumping to me? There we go again. I'm so high. you got something to tell you us? You ate that. I ain't gonna I mean, lie. You kind of passed out. I mean, I'm you, out. you scared me. <laughs> I'm a human. Why like did I, I scare you? She said, I'm a human. I why, can't why did I scare so you? Much. You scared me because it's like, Jay. Why, why, why would you, you even say this? On a live fucking show. I, I was just asking. We are that on the, TV. That was the tallest person so I ever the, met. That's the person you thought of. No, yeah, because that was the tallest person I ever met. Like, real talk. And I, I got a picture with him. So I, that's the only person I can see of that height. Honestly, like, literally, honestly. How tall is Shaq? Touche. 7'1. So you said you was dealing with a guy that was six. Eight. Six? No, he was nine. six nine. Six nine. He was like six nine, six ten. So that's give or take a couple inches. A couple inches, right? So you're telling me that because you was dealing with this guy, I whoa, loved that dude. Whoa, whoa, that could Lex. be why he was like real. He was, you know yeah, what it I'm was? Cool. It was because he's me and him, shit, Lex. we were super like fun. We had a lot of fun, and maybe sometimes you associate like the past things in your life that you enjoyed with like what is your ideal now? Like he set a certain standard. Where I'm like, okay, now I know I like big, tall niggas with broad shoulders. But do you understand? I, so I say Shaq because like that's literally the type of person I've met, and like you don't meet these type of people often. I'm good. So, so that's you know so, that. So, 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 you know so, 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 so no, that goes back to my point. That that goes back to my point. <laughs> it, it's so you're telling me because we don't meet these people often, and, and that's subjective, okay? Because because she has right, and that's fair. You're telling me that that's if you met the record, somebody we're that not loves talking you, about. Uh, if you, Shaq. But if you love somebody, if somebody loves you and they give you your all, they give you their all, right, and they treat you wonderful and, and great, you're telling me you're going to shove that person to the side because he's not one of the 8% of the people in the world? No, I'm not saying that at all. That would be that would be a Shallow. disservice to myself. So is that not a settlement? If you settle because you literally just said... Hold on. So here's the thing. It depends on, does this person... So I, like, if all jokes aside, like, yeah, physical preference, what I'm sexually attracted to... Everybody knows that I like tall niggas. But if somebody ignites my soul, I don't care if he's 5'11 and, and three quarters. <laughs> you close know, to, as close to six foot. It's six, right. Like, if you, like, I've dated guys who were 6'1, <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? And I liked them or I wouldn't have dated them. So it's not that. She hasn't said anything it's, under five, six foot. I'm I've just, never dated, I dated one dude that was under six that. feet. All I'm saying, but he, was a boss ass nigga, but it bothered me. And, I was and, like, and I'm not mad at that. All I don't I'm, feel I'm, tall. I'm really I mean, I don't feel short to the next fact to that you. you said I'm not dating what? somebody shorter than six seven. So that's you said that's that. so look, that's what I'm into. So just apologize because you said that. Okay, I'm not gonna apologize. I'm not gonna apologize. This is what I'm gonna say. If somebody under that height can can stimulate your mind can, or not even stimulate my mind but could just make me fall in love i'm never gonna say i'm never gonna choose anything over love if i ever fall exactly. in love that's gonna be the priority height's not gonna matter weight is not gonna matter Facts. uh complexion is not gonna matter race is not gonna matter none yeah. of that i don't love is so blind. Can I ask you a and, and, and so the true. five five nigga that i said that's so, your soulmate like, you well, we can't it's, not, it's probably not my soulmate because I'm not gonna look twice so, at him. Exactly. <laughs> and that's, and that's, fair. And that's fair, right? And, 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 I, and your preference is, is totally fair. Mm -hmm. but my point to what I was saying is everybody settles because sometimes, like, your preference is six, seven, and taller, mm -hmm. and that's okay. I can't, I can't challenge you for that. Right. However, what I'm saying is, 
if that's your preference, you meet somebody that you fall in love with, and you and you didn't look at him twice, right? Mm -hmm. And you just so happen to see see him again. He forced himself on you or whatever the case may be, and you fell in love. You settled because yo, no, you, no, that's no, not I'm gonna tell you why I didn't. It's, Hold up. it's like problem. this. It's like this. This is what it's. I'm gonna compare it to this. The situation where you lose something, right? And you think, oh, how am I gonna live? I'm so upset. And then God replaces it with something better. Mm -hmm. That's not settling because you lost what you thought wanted. you wanted. Yeah, and you thought you wanted, and yeah. then you got something that was even better. Yeah. So when I say settle, I mean you're going to commit to somebody yeah. that does not nurture you, does not love you, does not care for you, does not make you happy. Yeah. Once once you start dating somebody and you're not happy, you have officially you settled. settled. Yeah. Just Agreed. to have somebody. I don't agree with Agreed. that. That's what I mean by settling. Right. Now, if we're talking about preference, that's all bullshit for yeah. real. Like yeah. I like I said, it's I could see the games. Huh? It's fun again. Yeah, like I could see the love of my life and he might be five eleven, right? I'm not going to say no to him just yeah. because I'm used to dating tall niggas. Like, yeah. if he, he might be all them tall niggas combined. It don't got nothing to do with height when it comes to settling. When it comes to settling, it has everything to do with your self-respect and your self-love. If you deal with somebody, and I could settle with someone who's six, yeah. seven. Yeah. It doesn't matter about the height. If he yeah. doesn't treat me well, or it's, he doesn't treat me in the way that I deserve, then I have officially settled. settled. So I don't yep. think you can put... A physical on settling. It's, I think it's more so about your inner spirit. So can yeah. I, and that's that's fair, right? And I want to ask this: like, so when they say you get older, you settle down. I don't think. And wow. and I'm thinking like, for me, I'm looking at it as the same thing because it's one word, right? So when you settle things, like even when you you get a house, you settle down in your home. And I feel like settling is it's all about pers perspective. Like it don't have to be a negative thing. Like just because like somebody might you might get with somebody, and me and Shadi has had well. Not to try, cut you off, but when you the did. definition of a settle, I did. <laughs> when the definition good. of a settle is problem or oh, argument. Good. You on your shit. That was good. Problem baby. or argument. I feel like then it's always going to be a negative because so, it's the definition is through a problem or so, an argument. So, okay, so this. So and, it's and not I was going to say. Ever like a settlement court. So that's what I was going to say. Like a I don't settlement think in court. That's right. different than that's different. settling down. Everyone right. settles. So, I don't think everyone settles. And I feel like I don't think so to either, a but degree, you know what? I the think people the majority that we, of people do. Yes, but we look up to. And that's what, what I was going to say. I feel like the people that we look up to are the people that don't settle. A lot of the people that we set are like See, goals and stuff like that, that aren't the people. That but that's me. interesting that you that say that. Me. But it's the truth. Because if you really think about that, we don't know. We don't know, but people it looks like. People set these standards and goals bag, Alex. Go as ahead. people who didn't settle. But we don't know if they settled or not. We really don't. Mm. We would never we know. Because the there's been a lot of things that have come out in. Like at a later date where yeah. you're like, damn, they Everybody's went through so that. Surprised. Yeah, like, and it's yeah. like, I would have never thought they were perfect. Right. Like some people have a really, a, some people are very intense about keeping, upkeeping their public image. And I think that's what you're talking I, about. For like, so, think, for, for like think, uh, example, like Jay-Z and Beyonce. Do you right. think Jay-Z and Beyonce settled for each other? I wouldn't like know. I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. I've had my skepticism. Because I would say this. Because if you cheat on me and we're two kids in, three kids in. you continuously deal with your non-negotiables, I think that's settling. So, all right. So, that's what I mean, we might not have enough time for this, but me and Sade had situations. And I felt like Sade settled because of her hopes and her... What's the word? I feel like she settled sometimes for me because of what's the word? The potential that she saw in me. The ambition. And 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 I think I think it's about perception because again, like you might not. It's something that you you have a non-negotiable about. Some things are your non-negotiables. And when you meet your non-negotiable, and you you feel like your love overpowers that non-negotiable. So when that's you say, I, also, but I think hold on, I think that's tricky too because there's a difference between. I think once you realize somebody has not met their potential, yeah. then you're settling. Right, that's what I was going to say. You it's normally at your, you don't see it until you're the end. Yeah. And that's what I was going to say because I can't say that you're a settle until it's really over because whatever potential, you could still meet it. You might It might really be your potential. I wouldn't really know if you're incapable or you're capable until like we are done. So what do you, the moment I hit you, the moment I came to your non-negotiable, right? Right. And you said, you know what, I'm going to fight through this. What do you call it? I don't call it a settle. I feel like that's just a part of the journey. I wouldn't know until like say if you do it again. Okay, and that's fair. Like and you know what I'm saying? Then it's like so. Mm, so I don't so think so, that's so much. So, so let's be real. Yeah. You know, you've been through that multiple times. Okay. You know you ain't like that. 
So okay. I don't have to do it again for you for it to happen once and you know that's something that you don't fuck with. Uh, not necessarily. Because I feel like some things people will do, some people are chronic at what they do. They're and I chronicle. think it also has to do with intention. Exactly. And it's the intention behind it. So some things are out That's, of malice. I, some things are out of like, you know, but if the intention, you know, is different, then I can look at it in a different perspective. Like I don't have to deem certain things automatically. Oh, no, I dealt with it before. No, like that would mean I'm limiting myself. I would never do that. I think I think mutual love is the goal. <clears throat> so yeah. I think that mm. we know our people our significant other is going to come with something that's a flaw because nobody's perfect. Nobody's right. perfect. Mm. It's exactly. all about the love you have for this person. Yeah. Like, and it, I say mutual yeah, because I've they seen have a lot back. of one-sided yeah. love and that's the settling exactly. stuff. If, if you and someone else love each other enough to work through your flaws and deal with them and it doesn't come in the form And it's mutual, of, like you said. And it's mutual and yeah. it's, it's not um, a repeated behavior that's intentional. Yeah. I think that that's worth being with right. i don't think so, that's settling and what i feel like you mean like you said okay something you've seen but there's things you've seen in me that right. probably was the same so it's but mutual i would at say that point. but i would it's say mutual. that i settle in that moment but again so i think we're saying mm. the same thing but because i don't my like perception, the settle right yeah and, and, i don't think i don't think i don't think i don't think because i'm not settling for less yeah so, if i want this but i never want this so i never said i never said settle for less i'm just saying i said i feel like everybody settles settle is below settle goes to the floor like if dust settles it goes down. Yeah. So therefore, That's why it would be settled down. less. Yeah. It, it would be settled less. That's why I said the term settle is, it's I don't think. It has a negative it, it has a negative, and it's in the definition. Right, so, definition, so if, Jay. If, if, if everything has a negative Def con Yo, you, I, I, you, I believe, you've been on your I shit. See, I, see, I, believe <laughs> that, I believe that we can change the definition of, not definition, I'm sorry. We can change the, the connotation, connotation of things. Okay. Yeah, it has a negative connotation, but depending on how you look at it, just like with the way I look at envy, right? right? A lot of people, when it comes to being envious, they look at it as a negative way, but I don't, I don't. You but, know what I'm saying? Well, and and you, when it comes to settling, I just feel like it, for me, settling and compromising is one in the same, few far. So between. I feel but like it, if you, you say you? that we can make the connotation, I think that we also cannot allow it in our realm. See, I don't think I would let the word settle into my realm of my thought and process because I, I don't think that's a, a positive you don't term. Manifest that. I think and I, I wouldn't manifest it. Like even, you know, like they say words are spelled sometimes. I don't even like the term settling down because why am I See, settling I down to my marriage? I can't like, be I'm with up. someone like, that's you know not saying? continuously ascending. Exactly. So if I'm always taking flight, yeah. how am I going to be with someone who's, who's scared settling. of heights? So can, I yeah. you, can I ask you something? So I'm glad you said that, right? So some we have some people who are different. We have some people who goals it, who goals are to get a house in a nice neighborhood Absolutely. And, and be great. And I feel yep. like if you're with somebody like that, right? It isn't fair for us to say that they aren't any or, or they are any less than we are because their goals are different than ours. I, they're not less than us. However, yeah, if it doesn't align with, with what mm -hmm. I'm trying to do, then, then I've settled for, for what I wanted. Yeah, now, what you I'm wanted. not saying you're not a hell of a husband and you don't have a great home and a great job and yeah. a great mindset you might have a great family whatever yeah. you call it but that doesn't equate to uh what i want so right. i could just want to travel the world yeah you know what i'm saying i've settled now right. because i wanted to see the world it's and a personal thing yeah it it's has nothing to thing. do with yeah. are you a great person yeah. and am i a great person yeah. it's okay you your goals and my goals yeah they don't coexist. Now your yeah. goals can be different, but they have to be able to coexist. Otherwise, one person is it's, getting shorted. So, or they're always mm -hmm. going to feel so shorted. I think yep. me, me and Shade's relationship, like we're going to bring it home. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like, I don't think it is that because you know, like my goals, I can wait. I'm the guy that's, that's willing to like sacrifice my livelihood, or not my livelihood, my, my living circumstances for the betterment of my future for right? a season yeah. yeah for a season i'm okay with like shit living in a, in a shelter for three years stacking up just so i can come out on top the the, the, the next year. 20 exactly, years right mm -hmm. shoddy doesn't believe in it and that's okay i don't either but i'm not living not, in okay, nobody's okay, shelter okay, I'm, I'm glad you don't but that's not yeah. settling. You know what? Whoa, whoa 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 hold up but, what, but that's not settling that's a sacrifice but that's, with what, a mission in it and but i'm saying yeah. the way you said it right you said our goals have to align clearly the end goal so like don't you know how they say soulmates you have to have the, uh, a similar, what do they say, Monique? Yeah, they say soulmates have to have the same end goal. Like if, you're, if your end goals aren't the same, that's not your soulmate. So at that point, yes, you now goals settled. Ain't the same? What's your, so you don't think so? I think I'd have so. to disagree. I think so. What's your end goal, man? Um, my end goal is to have an abundance of success and wealth and health. 
And I think no matter which way you flip it, we have that same end goal, no matter where we are right now. That's a fact. So like, yeah, you may be willing to sacrifice in a shelter for three years. I might not be willing to sacrifice in that way, but it doesn't mean I'm not willing to sacrifice in other ways to get to that same end goal. And okay, so so, to to, to come to a conclusion, y'all think that Masika's what fiance? So hold on, here's the thing about this Masika thing, because I did see it on social media. Um, when she announced her engagement, she was like, yeah, this is somebody that I curved for 10 years. Mm-hmm. And then within a couple months of dating, now we're getting married. So the issue that I have with that, that makes me skeptical. And I don't know because I don't know them. Mm-hmm. Um, you curved your fiance for 10 years. And I feel like when you are with somebody that you love, there is a certain respect that comes with that. And there's a responsibility that comes yeah. with that. Knowing that you have a public platform you get on there and you belittle your potential husband, yeah. then it, okay. it leads me to believe yeah. you You're must not, be settling because right. you don't respect him. Exactly, real. Because why curve is like, I literally looked over you. Like I didn't want you. I no, I declined you. I declined you. A multiple like, occasions good, I'm for good 10 on years. You. I'm good on you. I don't even think like if their engagement, why was that even the focus point of the exactly. conversation? It should be I'm getting I'm, engaged to the love right. of my life. Like right. not like, oh, I curved this person for 10 years and I don't know if I mean for me to me that's condescending that ain't never a accomplishment no for me. like you know so I wouldn't feel like oh my god I curved him I wouldn't even bring that up I have now I wouldn't, I wouldn't bring it up can we bring, bring that up like so, so for example right can we bring the caption if y'all have it um the only reason I think is all about perception is because again remember last week I talked about the tweet that I made right and my tweet was it was speaking on yo when me and my woman got together the one thing that I hated was that we wasn't friends some people could say i don't even know why you brought that up but i brought that up to show you how much i'm so glad that we did that to motivate other people to say it don't always have to be that way i never thought like that but yeah. I'm sa- and i feel like well, it could be the same with the, I, I don't but, now hold on i do believe but i do yeah. is to me is two separate things still like first I feel of all like, if it's my friend i'm yeah. not gonna say that about him yeah. we were friends and now look we're in love yeah. in a relationship yeah. we never went there but now we have we've been friends i'm not yeah. gonna get on there and say i've curved that looks like you were some nigga who was pursuing me and, and I, I kept playing you. At you yeah well, because like, i didn't I'm want almost you like i'm above you. but as like, far as friends yeah. i do believe that in order to get committed to a level that is marriage you do got to be friends yeah. i don't so, care what anybody right, says so, yeah yeah all i'm saying For is sure. just like you said that's or important. you're settling yeah you, you said that's important what if the goal was to show people that yo you you will be surprised who you end with now but you can I, become I, I, friends do you think you guys are friends now of course and that's exactly so my point, so but, my but, point but in this, my tweet was so, my but, point in my yeah tweet, you don't have to start off as friends so, so, yeah. so my point in my tweet mm-hmm. was yo one thing that i believed in my entire life was i want to be with somebody that i'm friends with we go into a relationship and we have a a, a great relationship already right is what is, do that, men just think that's like no, no, but that's I, that's so, shit is so, 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 let me finish the point so so that was my point right so that was that's what i thought no a lot of men think that way but i found out that you can grow together you can because that's what you do anyway and I'm saying, I don't know if this was her point, but I'm saying, what if her point is to say, yo, you'll be surprised at who you end with just because you're carrying somebody you don't think you like somebody, give them a chance. What if that's her point? But it doesn't sound like a good surprise. It, it, well, there we go. I, the it timing of it, it's a lot. It but I will say this. Personally, and I can't speak for everyone, I don't mind being friends with someone and then one day we enter into a relationship. However, if we are friends, right? and you start a relationship with somebody else and not me, then I can't get in a relationship with you in the latter because I've already feel rejected. I feel like I'm not your first choice. So had she been single and doing her thing for 10 years and was like, nah, I ain't trying to really get in a relationship and they was friends, that's one thing. But if you constantly, if I'm constantly choosing other men or he's constantly choosing other women, man, you ain't getting with me now because you had the opportunity you know what I'm saying? But you still couldn't see that. But now all of a sudden we're older even and you're going to marry me 10 years later because nobody else wants you. I'm good off you. Even reading this. So the tweet says, <laughs> Matt, Sorry, my fiance 10 squinting. years ago I know. curved him 97% of those 10 years. Been dating for four months. He asked me to marry him for four, four days ago. Last night I asked him, what made you so sure after only four months of dating? He said, I knew 10 years ago on the day I met you that I was going to marry you. Okay, and so Can her slide, comment, wait, her that's comment. Nah, no, it's just videos. Her okay. comment, her comment below 
she says the moral. So all that extra is Let's cap for her, uh, her. She said the moral of what she's saying is. Um, it doesn't take sorry. a man. Go ahead. I thought I was. I wait, say. what about? I thought what? I was friend zoning him. Little did I know he was actually allowing me to think I was in control. Like, see, right there, you're playing mind games with yourself. Ain't nobody, bitch. You, you were friend zoning him. Real moral, okay. Real moral. Because I wait. What did she say? I friend zoned him. Little did I know he was actually allowing me to think I was in control. Whole time he was preparing himself and grooming me because if we jumped in when we first met, we would have messed up forever. Cap. And all I'm saying is, we can't say that's cap. Before. Like you missed the the part before. You gotta yes. read that. Wait, After I didn't the mean curve story? him as no. if I was ignoring the man. The moral. We were actually. Where's oh moral, the moral of the story. story? It doesn't take a man long to know if you're the one he wants to spend his life with. Um, I'm oh, confused. Honestly, I'm, I'm confused, confused too. But what I will say, I don't is, think we have enough time for this. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, confused. I'm confused. But what I will say again, like uh, you know, her moral of the story is it doesn't take a, a man a long time. Because he knew at the first day he met her ten years ago. Um, all I'm saying is this, <laughs> Moni. All I'm saying she is went this. The most when it sense. comes to curving somebody, if you reject a person and they feel rejected, nine times out of ten, I do believe that rejection lingers on. So even if they get uh, get with you, I do think that rejection is like, damn, why didn't you pick? Here me comes first? the resentment. Like, bitch. and then, and then now there's I'm a resentment. Give so you I don't hell. really always think that's the best way to go and even in terms of like you know you saying like you always thought prior like i would be friends like i think like in dating like i just don't think it's almost that's just not one side because wait, people are dating for the first time they're meeting on apps they're meeting on twitter they're meeting on on instagram they're meeting on all these places i don't know you but we talked people, about we talked yeah. about masika settling yeah. what about him yeah so he's not settling because you're gonna marry someone who rejected you for 10 years and you think that you're getting because you because you wanted it you're going to take it in any way you can get it so can I but that's I not also, something that loves so you the way you should be loved also, that's a what settlement I too like about her the comment was i asked him what took him the thing is i feel like marriage is a mutual union so why are you just asking him like if you knew he was the one you would have understood why he was showing you because the love is mutual it's like i know why you're proposing me because i love you just as much i want to marry you too like so to me it just sounds like you're saying yes just to say yes, so, because why are you just asking be chosen, him like, just, uh, what, well, what made you, I curved you all these years. Why would you want to marry me now? If the love is mutual, you understand why he would want to marry you now. And I don't understand that part. So to speak on the part of you, somebody said that he was, what about him settling? And I feel like, okay, so Shada, you know, you know, like the bit, the biggest thing of my life or part of the biggest thing of my life is like my career, right? Right. And you have, like, we have conversations mm -hmm. being in a relationship of like, Almost comparing the two, my girlfriend and my career, saying I need I need just as much time with right. you as you spend with your career, right? Right, right. Let's look at it like this. Let's say that that's true. If I'm gonna do all this for my career, there's been times where I've been rejected so many times. But yeah. they say you can be. They say I'm pretty sure, Jazz, you heard this. You can be rejected yeah. nine yeah. years out of ten, and on the yeah. tenth year you'd be successful. Yeah, yeah. successful. So sure. if we if we look at it how you yeah. say it, right? If, if somebody that I knew yeah. that I love and I know that I love me going after you just like I'm going after my dreams make me settle? Look, if that works for somebody else, that's fine. Back but I don't compare right a, com a career so, to a human being. Here's the I'm thing. Sorry. But it you can be it to you so many no, times. To, no, to, because we're already in a relationship. If 10 years I curved you. See, if we go 10 years in a, a relationship, that's one thing. 10 years I'm curving you and then I'm just, you know what I'm saying? I just think there's the comparison of a human being to a career. It's not the same thing. But it's a goal. So my goal but, can't be to be with but, you. But here's the thing. I don't think love, I, I think love is in you. I don't think it's a, it's a thing to obtain like a career. Like people, I think like people do that. And yeah, that's and why I think, it's and fucked I don't up. Think, I think, and that's why that's I think it's fucked up. The game. I think if love is already in you, no matter what, it's, it's, it's going to come to you freely. Like you shouldn't, yeah, be, that you shouldn't be that that you like, want to right. take someone, take half of someone just because you wanted it. Mm. If that person doesn't want you back, that's real love. If you'd be like, nope, so because is you it, don't want me back. So is it real yeah. love what Tyrese did? So what Tyrese, he he's he filed for divorce, right? And he wrote like this. It looked like he was guilty of something to me. And he wrote this long paragraph. So basically, you know, just he like, passive aggressive how, shit. Honey. How was that passive aggressive? Him expressing his feelings? I do not. Why didn't you express your feelings before I announced the divorce? Then it would have been more genuine. But I just feel like 
I don't know. Like, I don't, I'm really not here. Like, it's one thing, okay, you're a public figure, you're in a relationship, you guys are ending and you want everybody to respect the where you guys are. So it's like, look, you know, me and my spouse, I know we've been posting all the time. We're public figures. We are parting ways. Please respect our, respect our privacy. I think it's another thing where you got to get up there and explain, like, who are you trying to convince, me or yourself? Yeah. Like, the people or yourself. I think that is where I think it's passive aggressive because why are you telling the, like, you can acknowledge the breakup for the privacy of the relationship, like, going forward, you know, I won't be posting her. She won't be posting me. Please don't attack us in a way just so you guys know. Like, you know what I mean? But to get up there and say, like, oh, this is why, th th that to me, is that's cap. I think that's cap. So not huh. to get off of that situation, but I just thought of, like, a real life example. So somebody that I used to deal with got engaged on Christmas, right? I, mean, I heard, like, some noise. I thought it was a vibrator. I, like, I heard, zzz, I ain't know what the fuck. We talking so about dildos and shit. I someone, know. someone. <laughs> like, I'm the only one? Who like, put my dildo out the drawer? Why in this setting? <laughs> Would there <laughs> ever be? I mean, I heard it, uh, like a, in a, this zzz, setting. You, hit it, you hit it in the kitchen because I, I can't find it. You can't find it? So who was you using it for? What'd you do with it? Who you want to use my with? promo Why code? You steal it? Hey, you want to use my promo code? Y'all not be promoting the dildos yeah, from time yeah, to time. You do promote that from time to time. You stole my shit. What you been doing with it? You say promo code? Yeah. You dumb. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? I ain't seen that little Shout thing out in a minute. Them. Me either. So I'm sorry, Jazz. You're you're fine. <laughs> um, I hate this person anyway, so I don't even want to say it. But if you hate sorry, do not bring him up in the podcast. I'm not gonna say his name. All right. You know who it is. You know she so, don't ever say name. Yeah, that's I'm no name Jay. So <laughs> somebody that I dealt with for years. Is he famous? Yeah. Right, he got I'll figure out his name for Nah, okay. cause nah, for real. Don't do it. Don't do it. Not this time. Not actually this time. Already on shade room. Look, respect Sorry. my privacy. Not this time. Well, look. You know who I'm you talking got it, about got though. He yeah. got engaged on Christmas. So Jay's irky as shit. Jay if Why you say it, like I'll bust your ass. He got engaged on Christmas. I feel like everybody would know. Say this is you big, said it. I didn't say, say it. I so didn't this say nothing. So this is just what I have to say about it. Okay, you now said I'm not it. saying nothing. He now. got engaged on Christmas. Christmas. Out. Edit that out. Okay, he did. Can so, we Google that? No, let's no. not. Can I'm, I get sure to, I'm getting to the point this all right, all right. time. So it scared me because he's a basketball player. No, football player. Nope. It scared me. You were don't smart. Even edit it out he didn't even oh yes. You was... Yeah, he played uh, soccer. So <laughs> he, plays, he, play he plays football? golf, huh? Can he played like football. Nope, he played golf. We gotta call this a segment. He now. plays uh, golf, uh, but he did, out, so he didn't play football. Figure out, he played figure out volleyball. He didn't play football at all. Wait, you really don't know who I'm talking about? Did he play football? You know who I'm talking I about? Said, this is a big so he did, rich town. Oh, she stop! Oh, <laughs> I just come he got from off? the poorest. He got part. engaged. He got. Oh, he got. I thought he was talking about the other guy. Nah, he, he got engaged too. Who got engaged that I used to deal with? Y'all not here. <laughs> I thought the football player, no? Who? He got engaged? He played soccer, I thought. Oh, God. <laughs> I thought he played soccer. I thought he played soccer. I thought so he who? played Am I football. married? I'm getting married. I, no, I thought he played Is football Is it to too. me? And he got nah, engaged? No, 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 no. You know he, he, um, he ain't no football player. All right. He was a football player. But no, you talking next, about. because Jay just got playing a game. He got engaged. He Wow, that was your guy too. I know that, that was, was my nigga. That was so, my guy too. He's so, cool though. Let me finish. He so, shared your roots, right? Huh? He shared your roots, right? No, he doesn't. No, he's, he's not. actually not. not it's, it's, my it's, my it's, my it's a whole different You're place. I'm sorry. Chill, oh, chill. To be respectful, like that's disrespectful. It's fucked that I was like not negotiable. Right? That's thank you. So African and Jamaican is two different things. I'm sorry. He's not African. I never dated an African. It was something like that. I was gonna say some wild shit, but I'm gonna save it. What is? I'm gonna say it when we get off. Okay, so Charlie did that though. No, you did it. Big rich town, like but but you said. Well, I come from the forest part. So can I finish? Maybe that's why I didn't work. So he got engaged on Christmas. What the and fuck? Hey, yo, fucking. <laughs> what the fuck? That's, I'm sorry. What? Hey, Lex. Cause Lex Jay, true. We know no, that. No more Lex. Cause Jay is wallet. So I just been quiet over here trying to so contain look, my litmus. Let me finish the story. I'm, I'm gonna tell you why. Yeah. It's, it really, it really does like go with what we're talking about. Yo, sir. and I'm gonna tell you why it was scary because I got engaged two years ago, right? Story time, huh? Story time with Jazz. Wait, time with Jazz. You got know engaged? I did. This is a segment. What? I did. Everybody, nobody knows. I, I know literally exactly who you're talking about. Breaking I broke news. my engagement off like four months yeah. ago. Wow. I'm on a wild nigga. Wait, so you've been engaged for a year and a half? Jazz yeah. the only nigga. I had, yo, yeah. yo, can you bring some Jazz money to the podcast? Because you got all these connections shit. Like you're dealing with niggas like Listen, niggas let, like me just, let me just finish. I started a whole new life this year. Y'all know? He's a snitch. 
Big snitch. Whoa. No, I'm not a snitch, See, but he's a they rat. Calling us fast I'm not a, snitches. He's a rat. I mean, I'm not a rat, but I mean, if we talking about Okay, so wait, let me, just, let me I mean, just... if we talk about... Okay, so look, let me I'm tell you... Right, but if you want to go there, we can no, go No, we're not going there. <laughs> okay. I don't know what anybody's talking about. At least for the show. I mean... No, no not for the show. <laughs> we ain't doing not it for, for anything. Not for the cameras. Okay, so, not for nothing. Not for <laughs> <our> so, <laughs> <laughs> Nobody. Oh, wow. Okay, listen. Was he 6'7"? Oh, wow. He wasn't. He wasn't. Nowhere near. <laughs> he wasn't. He was nowhere near 6'7". Fuck out of here. He wasn't. Jay's so high. Because he's pressed about 6'7". He was nowhere near 6'7". But he was six foot. Nah. No, not even. Probably just a, a little taller than me. Got ah, it. fuck you, Jay. <laughs> if, if, if Jay's so, if Jay's five nine and a half, he's five ten. Okay, Got but it. admit it. When you saw him in person, you said, "Okay, I can see it now." Oh yeah. Because at first you was like, "He's a special dude." Why are you yeah, so? Yeah. Or he's, special. Yeah. he's a special yeah, guy. He's, he's, yeah, yeah. he's a good dude. I he think. is. I mean, well, I don't say a good I don't dude. know y'all experience, but he's a good. Yeah, dude. He's a special person. So when I got engaged <laughs> a year and a half ago. I well, lied you to not... him? No. no. Oh, I'm about to say. Oh, my bad, my bad. Pay attention. Follow no. the you're story. Right, you're right, you're right. He got engaged on Christmas. I'm sorry. You said that. You said that he already. He did. Right. I, so... Fuck him. <laughs> that shit. I was sitting at home, man. I was laying down. I was like. That could have been me. Started getting lonely. Nah, that could have been me. I was just like, is it me? Am I the problem? Maybe Why is you every are the nigga problem, I was though. with happy yes, now? You're probably the problem, though. Low, low key, let's be real. No, all right, we're not going to turn this into a therapy this is session. Therapy. But you might okay, be back to the story. We're not going to do therapy on my friend today. Back to the story, y'all know. I never <laughs> want to do therapy on, on Jazz. Listen, we're when not Jazz going to get the therapy session? I'm, look, I'm happy. <laughs> it ain't me. We here for healing. Problem. These bitches are settling now. Here, here we go. So I got engaged a year and a half ago, right? Um, he reached out to me. Mind you, I hadn't talked to him in months because when I was with my ex fiance i cut everybody off fiance yeah Sorry. i cut everybody off right? yeah i cut everybody off um he reached out to me and i i can't make none of this up he reached out to me and was like you're engaged aren't you and i was like i didn't post it nobody knows mm -hmm. like only my mother knew his i mother didn't even knew. know yet yeah you didn't even know yet yeah so he was like you're engaged aren't you and i was like I am. How did you know that? And he was like, something in my spirit just told me. I felt like we always gonna be connected at the soul. That's some voodoo, though. And he was like, African I don't shit. know. It's that African shit. But so he wasn't African. Make your mind up. He wasn't. <laughs> Fuck out of here, like. So, <laughs> shout out to the African. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, <laughs> I was about to end say the same. podcast right fucking now. So it's the drink. He reached out to me and he said that right. So, at the time, I'll never forgive Lex. I called nope. my mother. I'm not even drunk, low key. I can't honestly. even finish the story. So I'm look, just I writing the PR letter, Larry. Well, guess look, what? The uh, statement's coming out tomorrow. You understand how we feel? No, we I never do it anymore. You do. I don't. <laughs> and I cut. And you I'll did cut it today. What you mean no more today? <laughs> no, Alex, I'm sorry for okay, cutting so you off. Not see, to cut you off. Y'all motherfuckers is delusional. Y'all can see when I do it, but can't see when yourself when you do it yourselves. Like nobody in here is accountable for their actions except for myself. Put me on a pedestal. Hey, being accountable and responsible is two different things. One both. Jay took that because somebody had to tell it to him. All right, so that's what's crazy. All jokes aside, though, he I, I called my mother and I was like, guess what? I was like, you know they who hit me no and said today. that they knew I got engaged? I was like, how could he know that? And she was like, I'm going to stay out of it. So I said to him, like, yes, I did. I said, how did you know that? He said, well, I feel like we're always going to be connected at the soul. He was like, I just want to let you know I love you. I think you're a phenomenal woman. He was like, I think that when we were together, you were fucked up. And he was like, but I'm not mad at you anymore. <laughs> hey, straight well, up. Still fucked up. Moral of the story, he's trying to say you were the problem. But that's disrespectful. Yeah, but he was Go like, ahead. but I'm glad that you've grown. And he was like, if somebody made a commitment to you, like, damn, like, I'm I, I'm happy for you. But it was like, I'm a happy I'm happy for you. Like, I was really reaching back to make sure you didn't so get engaged. So can I ask you a question? What? what the fuck is the point of the story? Can I get to it? Oh, my bad. Because I right. got interrupted like for an hour you when right. I was trying to get It's like a two minute story. You're right. You're right. So, <laughs> huh. fast forward to a couple months later, everybody knows that my fiance got locked up. Whatever. So, he said, um, no, so I actually had to go to New York. I didn't have to, but I went to New York with my friends for something. I He lived in New York, so I reached out to him. I shouldn't have because, you know, <laughs> but <laughs> I did. He was recording at the time. Nah, Stop it. he lived in New York. He's oh. from, he's like from New Jersey. Uh, oh, he's from New from Jersey. New Jersey. <laughs> I always knew this. Okay. You're giving it all to us. Thank you. No, fuck it. So. <laughs> fuck it. We want to get a name. name. Fuck it. Fuck. I don't even want to say his name. And you know why? I don't want to say, it's not that I don't want to say his name because I'm scared to say his name because people saw us publicly together. For I, real? Yeah, they did. So say the name then. I'm going to tell you why I don't want to say his name because I don't want to give engaged. him. 
Yes, and I don't want to disrespect yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. You're right, you're right. I because I used to always Messy disrespect. J. Anytime I'm he joking. got with somebody Shut else, I would disrespect it, and he would disrespect mine. Yeah. And that's the point I'm getting to. Yeah. So okay. fast forward to a couple months later, yep. I tell him I'm in New York. He's not there. He <laughs> moved to Atlanta. Mm. So I'm like, oh, wow, okay. Mm -hmm. And then he was like, also, guess what? I met somebody. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, oh, wow, congratulations. So I'm telling him not to fuck it up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling him, like, look. And he didn't. So now let me finish. That's not what I'm scared of. I'm saying he didn't fuck it up. <sighs> fuck him. He did. He could have. No, he ain't it's up? not that he didn't fuck it up. It's that he settled. And I'm gonna tell you why. Whoa, that you talking about disrespect? Is that if that's not that's disrespect. why I don't want to say who he is. So because then a the girl gonna know. But like, if that's not right, disrespect, that then, I don't never want to hurt nobody's feelings. How did it, how do you say this man settled? You don't know that. Oh, I bet you he settled because she ain't you. Basically. Well, yeah, for him. So. Nah, for real. Let me get to it. Episode so, fifty three is sponsored by. I don't even know what the fuck. Why the all his? Ex <laughs> why do all his? Why do all of his? Yeah, the episode is sponsored by Lex in the city. Why do all of his ex girlfriends have me blocked on social media? So she got you blocked? No, not the current girl. Right. Then. Hold up. So this is why I said it's settling and he scared me. me. So nah, listen. So that's what I told him. Whatever. I was going through my own situation with my ex fiance. I was kind of trying to just use him wasn't right whatever but i cared about him you know what i'm saying so i told him the best thing to do I was trying now to fast forward him, to a couple months later him. no because i was going he hey man me and him used to whoo, i don't even go, go together up. i was trying to use no him. let her use finish him. the story like yeah. did you buy your bitch a dildo use him in that way not use him like oh i'm gonna use something from him like he <laughs> Wait, knows i would never so i don't get that that, that <laughs> analogy how, how was that did saying? you buy her a dildo? because i was just i mean me and him we had uh, good sex it sex was the top bomb. two yeah it was number one so he was using it for his dick wow i've Everybody never knows in that. my life heard you say that that's a lot i've told a lot of people that wow now i never give him the credit because we know why i okay. hate him but okay. you know so okay a couple months after that right this is where it comes the point he hits me he's been in this relationship with the girl he's marrying for mm. a while now it's been months and he hits me and he's like listen i need to see you so i'm like for what that sounds he's like, like him Wait, no, wait, don't, we're not about to do that. To, we ain't going to do that. So I'm like, do for what? That. From his character. No, we don't do that to this. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> we're not going to do that on the show. Nah, nah. We can joke, but we're not going to do This is real shit. We ain't going to talk about this man like that. So I'm like, the character. Me? I'm talking about the character. Okay, the no, character. No, he's not even like his character. We're not going to do that. Yeah, like, come on. We, so, did you say he hit you a couple days ago? That's not fair. That's not right. No, I didn't say a couple days ago. Oh. I said this. No, this was, this was like a year and a half ago. Uh -huh. A year ago. Uh -huh. Okay. Six months ago. So, it's like, nah, it was a year ago. <laughs> nah, on God, it wasn't in 2020. Well, I ain't saving nobody. It we wasn't in 2020. Fuck it. it was 2019. Beginning of 2019. So he hits me and he's like, I need to see you. So I'm like, what's going on? Like, you okay? He's like, um, I said, don't you have a girlfriend now? Like, what's going on? He's like, I just need to make sure that it's not you. So I'm like, excuse me? I'm like, what are you like? What are you saying? So he's like, you know, I prayed about it, and he's like, I feel like we always just were, had the wrong timing. He was like, I just want you to come to Atlanta, come to my home. I just want to see if if this was right, because it's mm. like I can't get it out of my mind. I just want to make sure. And I declined. No, nah, I'm gonna tell you what happened. I was like, okay, maybe. I didn't say yes yeah. or no. Mm -hmm. Then the next day, I see him on a vacation. With the bitch he's marrying. So I hit him and I'm like. He prayed and he found out it wasn't you. You took too long. <laughs> I'm just saying. That so was I the confirmation. So I got my confirmation no, right there. So I hit him and I'm like, for real though? And he like, I told you the situation. He like, it's not what it looks like. Like, I need to see you. Like, I just really need to make sure. Yeah, them mind you. Niggas, them type of niggas scare me. No, they don't. So mind yes, you. Yes, they do. Yes, they yes, do. They bringing God into it and husband. stuff. But yeah, we had probably. been we had been dealing with each other for Great a actor. while. Yeah. At this time, we had been Whoa. dealing with each other. For, Alex, you need to relax. Yeah, you got to chill. You're <laughs> ahead of yourself now. We've been with each other for, we have been on and off with each other for like two years at this point. He has other good talents too. So I re I understood what he was saying. You right? wild, yo. <laughs> Listen. So after that, I blocked him. I got away from him. Whatever. I'm sorry. Now that I see him getting married, happy. Not even happy. That I I question that. I see him getting married. I'm hater. happy for him. I'm not hating. I hope they get married and stay together forever. I mean, I don't want him. Okay, like Tony Braxton said, he wasn't man enough for me, sis. But wow, I am happy for them. However, I'm skeptical now because. You, you needed to make you sure that. you wanted to make sure right now granted 
That was two years I, ago, though. But I never gave you that opportunity. So it's like, but you know that this is the one for sure. Yet in the beginning, you were questioning whether or not I was the one. It's like, are you settling, my guy? Yes, that's bullshit. Because it's it was not two bullshit. Years ago. It doesn't matter. This was the same bitch he's marrying. So when I get with somebody, he just met the chick. No, no, he didn't. They were together Probably two years ago. They had, well, they had just met, but it doesn't matter. Right, it had been months. It had been a couple months then. By that time, that's it was whack, summer. Guys. They that's had corny. met in winter. I love you. That's corny. Nigga, fuck out of here. That bitch ain't never corny. No, and you can ask corny, that corny though. ass nigga. That was corny. That's not corny it because is. my it's not corny. It's real because now it makes me question. They look happy. I thought he was really happy, but it makes me question like when you so do so are we settling because. You wanted to make sure I wasn't the one. You never At got a that very opportunity. Early stage in his relationship. But what if I would have gave him the opportunity? And he, and he, didn't get he still ain't found out that you was the one. He still Bull, went uh, the way. Stop, cap, cap, cap. Because I oh, ended that. You real passionate. What you did? That I'm not. It's not. No, no, no. I am because I am a man, and I. I'm not gonna lie. Like even our relationship, I feel like. Before I'm not marrying. Hold up. I'm not marrying, and you could get this She's on not. motherfucking record. I ain't marrying no nigga. That was backtracking when we got together to make sure some other bitch wasn't now his my wife. Question and, and, and is, is, and Hill, now my question is, Jay Hill. And what I'm saying, and that's on fucking question, and that's on me. You I ain't doing it. That's settling. What I'm telling you is, would you? Before we get, she said, she you say it. Say what? It. Say you ain't gonna do what you what you wouldn't do. If I find out you was backtracking, it ain't about backtracking. First of all, when you in it, when but when you're in your early stages of a relationship, right? Like not silly, early, not. I'm, I'm exactly saying early stages of so relationship. So months in, if he reached out to his last bitch and was like, I need to make sure you're not the one, would you? Better question, if I mm. reached out to my old nigga to make sure he wasn't the one before Would you I marry her? In our early Here, stages. Go ahead and lie. I, I'm not going to lie. I need to fucking lie. I'm a grown ass man. What I'm saying is. Okay, in our grown early, A grown ass lying man. Okay, fine. In our <laughs> early stages, right? If we you were doing some things in our early stages and I didn't know about it, one. I, 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 she knew about it. No, one. One. And that's the more respect. If she know about it, come on. No, man, it's not, not. It's like, damn, you're that no, pressed that's that not, you're gonna that's, that's stay respect. with this guy. If she knows about it, that's respectful. Come on, like, like for example, like. I okay, said, we I got said, two different definitions of respect. So what I was gonna say is first, I'm we trying don't to figure know, out. We don't moral. know when they made it. When they made it official, we don't know that. Stop. They were already official. He told me everything. They were already official. I can't speak for this man. Then. I'm speaking. Um, all right, I'm that's speaking. All, that's all, that was my whole point. My whole point is, you can see something, right? And it, it, they can look very happy and it can still be a settle. I don't care what anybody says. To me, I'm not the one for him because I don't want to marry him. But I don't think she's the one for, me, for him either. I think that he's a hopeless romantic. That's not romantic, for you to say though. But it is because I know That's this hating. man very well. It's not hating. I wish that the best for whack. him. It's not. I wish the best for him. However, do I think it's going to work? No. And I'm going to tell you why. Because he's not ready. Okay. He's always wanted to be in uh, this type of situation. She's clearly with so basically whatever. He's a hopeless romantic. He's a fucking hopeless romantic. All I'm gonna say is I don't give a fuck about none of them. Uh, great story with Jazz. It's story time with, story time with Jazz. Podcast and you did a point. great fucking job, and I'm saying good shit. You ain't said no fucking names, but I'm pretty sure they better figure it out. Um, I don't want nobody to figure it out because I don't even want to talk about him. But you, talk, I don't want you him took... to think. I don't want him to think that I'm talking about him because because he's gonna reach out to me and have something to say. Make sure maybe he reaches to you. The fuck? You shit, give what? us something. All right, congratulations okay. to you, sir. Shit. However, repost this shit. I don't want to say. I see, I don't want to say anything because he, if he hears it, he's gonna start rethinking shit. I just want him to know that I'm happy for him hey. if he's really happy. Hey, congrats to you, my guy. Shout out to you, Gemini Scorpio Podcast, Episode Fifty Three. Touche. with Jazz. Great job. Touche. I see you. You bringing your shit out. I fuck with it. I'm transparent. Shout out yeah. to all the new subscribers. Shout out to the old ones. Shout out to niggas that support us since day one. Shout out to niggas that support us. To this day, shout to out to the niggas. Day. You know what I'm saying? Um, now shout burn out to this Thank episode. You. Nah, it was episode drink, 53. Lex. Peace, two shake, nickel. We out.